<laughs> We're back again. Happy Friday. I say we because there's a cat here. She'll probably stand up in a second and you'll see, but she's she's sitting on my desk at this current moment in time because um, she's insisting on it. So <laughs> hi, welcome. We're going to do some building in The Sims. It should be fun. I have an idea. I've got a vision and I'll show it to you, but this will be an interesting day. I think it's going to be a beach house which will actually be kind of cool. I don't do stuff like that very often. So Snap is a daisy again today, yeah. Snappy, can I show them what you look like? I'm sorry, Snappy, that I picked you up like that. I just had to show the people what you're looking like right now. It's very important. She looks very beautiful. She's, she's actually tolerating this cone very well for the past couple of days, <laughs> which compared to the first day is a big change. So we're, we're pretty happy about that one. <laughs> I'm glad that she's like accepting it. Um, she's, she's being very brave. She's had a better day today, I think. So, very exciting. She's still a flower. She's very beautiful. <laughs> very beautiful, very cute. Um, let me get my game open so that you can see. Oh, there it is. It's already there. Um, and I don't really have full access to my keyboard right now. So, <laughs> we'll see when we're able to start building how things are looking. But, <laughs> at this current moment, Cat is kind of running the show, if you will. <laughs> so, uh, Lainey, Ansi, we got Lucky, and Nuclear, Mothy, Cass, uh, Knowing, and Alk, and Teriel, and Corinne, and Jen, and Steffi, and Wonk, and Suspicious, and Darcy, and Argella, and Celeste. Thank you for the subs, everybody. I really appreciate that. Josh, too. Thank you so much. Um, my phone says you're building a mod. I would assume you're building a modern house. Oh, no, 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 no. If you want down, I'll put you down. There you go. Okay, sorry. <laughs> yes, my stream title says being brave and building a modern house. <laughs> um, I am not building a mod. It just cuts off the, the, <laughs> the text. Sorry about the panic there. Snappy's not allowed to get off of the desk by herself because I don't trust her. She's in the litter box. Oh, she's peeing. Good job. Well. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Tartine Chip, Raven Fairy, uh, Voixy, thank you for the resubs, Clint with the gifted subs, Chase, thank you so much, Lilith, and KP, and Phoenix, and Zwi, and Mikumi, and Avalanche, thank you, Faded Potato, thank you so much, um, thanks for sharing, yeah, you're welcome, <laughs> you're welcome for the update, I'm worried that she's gonna put her face in it, cause she has to, it's like she can't really dig that easily. Oh my god. If it wasn't live, this would be a lot easier to handle. I think she'll be okay. I'll deal with it later. <laughs> what a great time to join. Yeah, sorry. I'm like, talking about my cat going to the bathroom. Uh, <laughs> Beloved Jasmine, Stop Detail, Morgan, uh, Udiv, and Ben, and Little, and Ruby. Thank you for the subs, everybody. Um, okay. So, we're gonna try and build a modern house today. Would it be possible that the word bonk is banned? Are you asking me that? I mean, you typed it, so. <laughs> um, I don't know. Anyway, we're, we're gonna do a sort of modern house today and I'm in Sulani right now because I was imagining that it might be kind of cute to build it on the beach. I can show you a picture of like a reference photo that I was looking at um, that I thought was kind of interesting. It won't be exactly like this. I just kind of liked the stone. Um, and I think that it's fun how it has the balconies, but I, I kind of liked the vibes of something like this And I think it might be kind of cool to do it on the water I just don't really know if I want to do it on the water because I don't think I want it to be floating like My preference would be more and this lot might be too big, but I'll show you um, She's sticking so much. Hold on. I might have to take her cone off so she can deal with this. Sorry chat <laughs> I'll put it back on her in a second. She just can't really dig with her cone on because she can't see what she's doing. I'll put it back on her afterward. Anyway, I was thinking about building it maybe somewhere more like this lot because there's a little bit more sand on this lot so we can have like the full house on the ground and then have also some beach. Um, but I don't know, that was kind of my thought process. Uh, I think that might be kind of fun. I always forget which side of this lot is the front. It is that side, okay. Um, but we could do something here maybe. It is a nice lot. This one, the only problem um, is that, well, first of all, it's got an off the grid lot challenge, but also there's like trash. 
that shows up in this water, but it's a nice like private island. So <laughs> it's kind of fun to have that. She's still digging. We're really going for it. <laughs> We're really going for it. But anyway, that's kind of the vision for today, I think. And we'll see how this goes because as we all know, I'm no good at making modern houses, but we'll see. <laughs> Firehawk, Andrew, uh, Poor and Foxy and Continuance and Cat. We got Swan, Koso, uh, Ugly and Ren and Granny and Anna and Olivia and Brad and Ginger and, and another Emily and Laura and Morgan and Stop Detail and Beloved Jasmine. Thank you for the subs. Hi, Snappy. Oh, now she's going to the door. <laughs> she might be trying to get out of my room, but unfortunately for her, you're not allowed to. You are trapped. <laughs> you cannot leave the room. <laughs> I'm gonna go put her cone back on. I'll be back in a second. Oh, please, calm down. You can't leave. Oh, please, calm down, Snap. You're being very grumpy. Okay. You're about to get more grumpy because you have to wear a cone. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, let me fix it so it's a little bit tighter, it doesn't fall off your neck. Okay, now you can go play, do whatever you want. <laughs> she's very grumpy, I don't blame her, I wouldn't want to have to wear the cone either. Now she's gonna go yell again by the door, I think. Unfortunately, she's not allowed to leave. <laughs> you have to be babysat. <laughs> free me, Kayla, free me! <laughs> Brandy, Rachel, Hooligan, thank you for the subs. Okay, anyway, should we start building? I also yell at doors. <laughs> um, can't she wear a neck pillow? That's what she's got on, Jordal. It's a, it's a soft cone. Um, I know, I know. You're gonna have to come back over here though, Snappy, because no one's gonna let you out. You're gonna have to stay with us. <laughs> I'm very sorry, I know you don't want to, but you cannot be unsupervised. <laughs> she's got things to say. This is her first, she's been in here all day with me and this is her first time whining to try and get out. So um, she's gonna have to just deal with it, unfortunately. <laughs> the complaints must be heard by the council. <laughs> Not the whole chat being like, free her, free her. Chat yesterday, she almost fell off this into the cat cam. She cannot be freed. <laughs> She's not allowed to be freed. It's not safe for her. <laughs> she did in fact uh, kind of wobble almost off of the little tiny chair, so. <laughs> oh, cat cam, we've had a cat cam the past couple days. I can only put the cat cam on if she sits in the cat cam and she's currently sitting by the door upset that she's stuck in here. Come here, Snappy. Oh my God. I looked at her and then she yelled at me. <laughs> you got a new cat? Oh, me? No, this is an old cat. Mega old cat. <laughs> um, we got her when I was nine. She's almost 16. She's not quite a new cat. Not at this point. Um, <laughs> so, the opposite, if you will. <laughs> okay, let's build, let's build. Hales and 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 so on and the and the cats and Judith and Raven and Brandy and Rachel. I can't talk. Deloria, thank you all for the subs and stuff. She's 16 years young. There you go. Okay. Snappy is not a fresh cat. <laughs> what a way to describe that. I mean, that's the root cause of all our issues recently, isn't it? She's old. She's wobbly. She's got kidney disease. She's got cancer in her leg. I mean, like. We're going through it. Let me show you the reference photo again, um, just in case you uh, missed it. This is kind of what we were picturing. Something like this, not exactly this, but something like this um, was kind of the thought process. So Andrew, Evie, Hales, thank you for the subs too. And we'll, we'll see, <laughs> we'll see. I don't really know what it's gonna be exactly, but something like that. Um, and it's gonna be cool and it's gonna have water and I don't know. Seriously, who forced you into this? Nobody, I decided to do it on my own. Maybe a bad idea, who's to say? <laughs> Kayla making a modern house and it's not April Fool's. I decided, oh, she's on the chair. Oh, well that's good timing, Snappy, because now I can give you your cat cam. Hold on, I will put cat cam for us. Let me move my face cam out of the way. Um, okay. Come here, Snappy. I'm going to film you now. Watch this. 
Yeah, maybe I'll move it back a little. There you go. Cat cam. <laughs> she got over it. She, she knew that she had to just accept it. And there's not much that she can do about it. Um, one sec, let me text my mom back too. All right, let's now begin. <laughs> I've been saying that for so long. Now we can actually start. We'll figure this out. We'll see how it goes. She looks really grumpy right now. I'm sorry, Sam. It's because I trapped her. I was being really evil. <laughs> it just makes you feel really bad, you know? <laughs> it makes you feel really quite guilty <laughs> when you have to lock them in somewhere and they look at you like that. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Uh, Avery, Erica, BV, Desert Peach, uh, Haley, Andrew, thank you for the sub, sorry buddy. I really appreciate that. She has every right to be angry, yeah. She's allowed to be angry, but we just have to remember that we must also protect her, even if she does not understand. <laughs> Look, she might want the thing off right now, and she might want to get into her stitches right now, but if you actually got into your stitches, Snap, you would very quickly realize that actually you probably wish that you never got into your stitches. <laughs> if I let you do that, you would very soon realize, oh, I shouldn't have done that. That's all I'm gonna say. So just be glad that I'm helping you, you know? Because <laughs> you, you would quickly regret that decision. I know that for a fact. Okay. I think I want the house to be kind of wide and skinny. Cause then we can take advantage of a lot of the beach space. I also would really like to have a pool. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do that. Can you even add a pool onto these lots? No, oh my God, so we can't have a pool. That's so sad, I would love to have a pool. We could, if you put it like on a foundation, can you put a pool? Is it smart enough to know that you still can't do that? Yeah. We can add it to like an upper floor, I guess, technically. But I don't know if that's weird. We could, we could technically do something like that though, where it's like raised up. Hmm. That's a very deep pool. <laughs> Cause I put it on like the medium wall height. I don't know if I like that or not. I might have to think about it. I'm not really sure. Okay. I think I might raise this up a bit too. We're gonna have to put a lot of landscaping to hide some of this. Rebounds, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. That is extremely generous. Thank you so much. Could do an infinity pool. Yeah, that was like my initial thought too. Oh no, not like that. That was kind of my initial thought too, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna like that. I don't know. I need to I need to think about it a little bit more. We'll have to see. Okay, one, two, maybe. Hmm. Raise that up just a smidge. Don't really know what I want this to be like. Clearly. <laughs> I think I want this part to have like a slight overhang to it. I just don't really know what exactly that's gonna mean. Snappy okay? Um, kinda. <laughs> she had she had a surgery on Tuesday to remove a cancerous mass from her leg. Um, so she's like, she's not great, you know, and I, I wouldn't say she's okay, <laughs> but she's not like not okay. Does that answer your question? <laughs> Are you ditching us again? Where are you gonna go? She's gonna go eat a snack. That's our next order of business and that's valid. I think she should do that for sure. Um, yeah, I don't know. 
I don't know. I think that I kind of want to have a roof on top of this too, even if it's only small. Maybe it can be completely flat. Look, no one ever said I was good at building modern houses. We're gonna be here for a bit trying to figure this one out, okay? So that's fine. <laughs> we're prepared for that. We, we like it. We know what we're getting ourselves into, right? Okay. How much have you missed? Oh, not too much. We're, we're just kind of trying to figure out the layout of this house right now. I'm actually gonna scoot it back a bit. It's not gonna stay that far back, but I can just see it a bit better this way. So it will help me to look at it like this. Um, okay. I want some sort of stone. This is the stone that comes with Island Living. I don't know if I want to use this one though, because it's very dark. And even like the lighter swatches are kind of, or maybe it's not that bad, I don't know. That one might be kind of cool. It's low key ugly. Oh, well that's hurtful. <laughs> okay, <laughs> not off to a good start chat. <laughs> Can we see it in daylight? You don't want to, Christine, it's in shadows. You mean the colors, maybe? Um, I, I'm building it in the evening on purpose because of the sun. Are we doing a beachy modern vibe or just plain modern? I, I'm thinking like plain modern, but it is on the beach. Not that that's really helpful information. <laughs> um. Okay, I think that that being a little bit smaller is better. I feel like that's an improvement. So we can start there. You like the wallpaper? I think I never use that wallpaper. It does have a slight issue where it doesn't have like a repeating pattern. So the seam is not clean um, and that's a problem. <laughs> So I don't know if I can bring myself to, to use this because now that you've seen it, like you can't really unsee it. You know? Um, so that's, that's probably gonna ruin the vibes for you and for that I apologize. Um, but <laughs> it's giving mid-century modern beach house like in a James Bond <laughs> movie. Oh, it kind of does. Um, at a dividing trim. I don't, Snappy, you can't do that. You can't, she's now gotten onto my desk and she's trying to climb under my monitor, which you can't do because you have a giant flower on your head. Okay. <laughs> you can sit on the desk. You cannot climb under the monitor. That's not physically possible because of the giant flower. <laughs> Unknown Macy Schwartz, thanks for the subs. She can get across, so like, she can go from the there onto the tree and then from that onto the desk. And like that works for her. She can move horizontally. It's up and down that I think maybe hurts her a little bit. She can't like, that's why she has the stairs there cause she can't like get up very easily um, and get back down. So she, the across movements are fine. It's it's just like the, the high vertical ones um, that are kind of difficult for her right now, so. <laughs> I don't like that one. I don't like that one. That's from Windenburg. This looks a little bit more similar to the reference photo, but that's also kind of ugly. Snappy, I can't access my keyboard. I need to move it. Let's see if I can get back. Okay. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna come back to that. I'm gonna think about the, the, the windows and stuff for a bit first. I'm almost kind of tempted to have like gray windows. Oh, I went to manage worlds by accident. You like the current stone? You like the current stone even though it has the visual glitch and like it, there's a seam. It doesn't bother you. Cause it kind of bothers me this like seam that you can see, but maybe if it's not too annoying, it won't mess with people too much. I'm not sure. Okay, this is not gonna stay like that. I have a vision, okay? I have an idea. 
Um, I want to put like some paneling kind of like this. Here is my vision. I don't know what color it will be. Maybe a wood color or something. Not 100% sure on this yet. But we would get rid of the wall. Oh no, move objects. Snappy, I can't use my keyboard. Thank you. Okay. Control shift C, BB dot, move objects on. Okay. Let's try that again and we'll leave those there. So they're like floating. That's kind of what I was picturing. That was the vision. Um, maybe we could get a slight trim of some sort up there too. Yeah, this paneling from Eco Lifestyle is so good. <laughs> it's like a really nice item, um, the Eco Lifestyle paneling. Okay, we probably want this part to be like seamless, right? I don't really like how that one lights up. That one's kind of seamless. It has a little bit of a seam, but it's mostly seamless. That's cool though, right? That's the vision. <laughs> Frona, thank you for the sub gift. Uh, Toshi, Joy, Kaden, thank you for the subs too. Um, have I done a build without any cheats or mods? Yeah, I've done that a few times for YouTube videos in the past. Um, so definitely we have done that on YouTube. I don't know if we've done that on stream or not. We've definitely done it on YouTube. Okay, I don't really like that staircase, but we'll figure out something that will look cool for the staircase. It might want to be like something that kind of matches the wood. I don't know. Doing it on stream sounds terribly stressful. No, it's not that bad. It's kind of fun to be honest, Tilly. Um, it sounds worse than it than it is. Um, I mean, you gotta remember that, like, when The Sims 4 first came out, we didn't have things like move objects and stuff. Um, so a lot of us are, are used to, even though it's been a while, we still have, like, you know, some familiarity with playing The Sims 4 that way. So, it's not that bad to do it without cheats and mods. Um, I don't know about these windows over here. I'm not really set on that yet. Snappy, you aren't allowed to jump down. If you want down, I will put you down but you cannot jump down. Okay. Do you see what I mean by supervision? She literally has to be nonstop supervised. <sighs> ah! Oh my God, I've gone to manage worlds by accident twice. I don't even have a cat to blame this time, it was me. <laughs> that time was completely my fault. Ashmodo, Lily, Frona, thank you for the subs. <sighs> Okay. I'm not really set on this part. It's, oh no. It's kind of tall for me, which I'm not completely obsessed with. Um, I wonder if we could like, hmm. Cannot connect blocks from different levels. Liar. I'm considering now at this, at this point, I wonder if we could like, this is gonna make the pool be like floating, but if we surrounded it enough, how low can I put this and have the game still think it's fine? It has to be like at least short wall height, right? Foundation elevation out of bounds. Can't place pool under platforms. Oh, you're on a platform. Aha. I wonder if we could try and do something like that. I don't know how we'll get them up to it, but I just don't, I didn't like how it was medium wall height and I want this floor to be medium wall height still. So I'm gonna move that around. We'll come back to that part. I'm just not really sure how I want it to be just yet. Um, connect it to a balcony. Yeah, it's gonna have to be like kind of split level. We'll have to do some like adjustments of the wall height and stuff for it to work right, but it is possible. 
Jerry Spills, thank you for the thousand bits. Bits for Snappy. Snappy, you made ten bucks. Good job. <laughs> um, Dante, Fluffy, Maurice, Chloe, Ashley, you're for the subs. The stone still doesn't seem to match. Okay, so we're not, let's not worry about the stone, okay? We're not doing that yet. <laughs> We're, we're not thinking about the colors yet, okay? Let's not allow ourselves to worry about that right now, because otherwise we're never gonna finish. Um, okay, let me think about some of the doors and windows, though. Part of me is like, maybe I should have put more of these? I don't know if it should be three wide or not. I think I liked it better when it was too wide. Do a fake pool with the water, like close it off with foundation. I, I wanna have a pool and the beach, um, which is a complication of trying to live here on a beachfront lot because you can't put the pool in the ground. <laughs> it doesn't let you. Um, so I'm gonna try to make this work. If it doesn't work, that's fine. We can do something else, but I would like for this to try to work at least, I think. Um, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Maybe we could get some like, and I don't even know if I like that door or not. I'm not really sure. But in the reference photo, they did have like smaller windows in the downstairs in the very front, like right there. I don't hate that. I don't love it either, but I don't hate it. So that's something. We could also potentially do some bigger windows. We're using a lot of eco lifestyle already, so it would be okay to do that. Um, okay. Oh wait, no, I was gonna do the two wide ones, I think. Just bear with me. Sometimes, like in a, on a day like today, this is a lot of experimentation, okay chat? We're working together as we try and figure this one out. <laughs> we're we're experimenting as we go. <laughs> Rosa, Theo, thank you for the for the bits and the resub. Thank you so much. It's just for fun, Ash. I don't have a sim in mind for this build. Um, it's just for fun. Ninety nine percent of the time, we don't have a sim in mind for a build. It's it's most times just because it would be fun. So. Okay, well, here's a new problem. If we do something like this, first of all, that's not in line, but there's not a door that is short wall height that matches that door. So, I don't know. There's other doors that are different and opposite, but they're not the same. And that is upsetting to me. Base game sliding door would be okay. The tiny living door. Tiny living's door is really small. And the base game sliding door, I don't really know if I want it to be a sliding door right in the front. Tiny living's door is like little, little, little. As you can see. Also different colors. I don't really want it to be all glass. That's the problem. Um, I don't know. I just don't like, I don't think that looks good with this. I, I kind of want it to be equal. I guess we could make this taller, but that kind of ruins the vibes of the pool. We could make it medium wall height on both. And that wouldn't be necessarily a bad thing because it's a fancy house. So having tall walls everywhere is, is okay with me, I think. Oh, I don't know if that's okay or not. Oh God. This is why I don't do modern builds on stream. <laughs> Anna, thank you for the 11 month resub. Thank you so much. I don't know. The dream home decorator sliding door. That one's also cute. I still just don't like sliding doors. I don't really want it to be all, oops, wrong packs. What am I doing? I don't really want it to be all glass. Um, this one has like, like you say, it's got some more interest to it, but I don't know. I also think that this is like not the right wood color. So making it the lighter color, that gets us started a little bit. 
Yeah, I don't know why they keep making all these doors that are like so short. It doesn't make any sense to me either. Um, they're like, they all have so much space above them on the wall, which I don't really want. I wanted to like fill the wall, you know? Um, it looks like two apartments rather than one home. Okay, so we're not done yet. <laughs> it's okay, guys, we're not done yet. We're still working on it. <laughs> Making bold claims like that, that it doesn't look like a single house is not so helpful because we're just still starting out, okay? Patience, patience. We gotta like let it cook a little bit, you know? Um, and then we'll figure it out, but it's still a work in progress. Okay, I'm gonna put another balcony back here, I think. And then it's probably gonna wanna have a roof on it too. I do not want a wall there. I think that maybe it would be good if, I might get us like a little bump out or something, I'm not really sure yet, but Oh, I hate building modern houses. You know I just don't know what I'm doing. Should this go up to the edge? Like something like that? No, that's ugly. Never mind. Hold on. I'm gonna figure it out. It's gonna be totally fine. <laughs> I like how that has an overhang. I just don't know how to like fit it back together, I guess. Um, so I don't really know about what I'm going for here. I mean, potentially we could have a little bit of a bump out like we have on the front. What is that? But I probably don't want it to be like so mix and matched. I don't know. Go away again, sorry. Start from scratch. So on the back, we just need to remember that we're gonna wanna have a lot of windows. Like primary feature here is just windows all over the place. <laughs> Cause we wanna have a lot of like view into the water. So we need to make sure that we're giving ourselves space for that, which shouldn't be that bad. I don't think it'll be hard to do roof pool? Well, so if we put the pool on the complete rooftop, keep in mind that that makes it so that the whole, oh, that's a platform, but it would make it so the whole inside becomes a pool, kind of like that. So what we had talked about earlier, and we're not 100% set on this yet, but it was a thing that, that came up, was like the possibility of maybe, and we're gonna have to really mess with the back to fix this. <laughs> But there's a possibility of like maybe doing something like this with the pool. Um, and I don't know, maybe I could put like walls of things on the back to hide that. This could also be partially open to the downstairs, I don't know. Um, I don't really wanna put windows all the way around the whole thing. And I still hate how it's medium wall height. I, I would be comfortable putting windows in like a couple spots of it. I don't really want it to be windows everywhere. Um, I don't think that's my vibe, I guess. I would probably prefer if given the option to like, I don't know, try and make it blend into the house a little bit better. Why a pool though the beach is right there? Well, that's kind of the point. It's like a really fancy house that has both a pool and the beach. A lot of big beach mansions have pools in real life too. <laughs> um, so that's kind of the idea. Like, because we can, we might as well do both, you know? Um, you just can't really do it in The Sims. <laughs> it doesn't really want to work like that in The Sims, but we're gonna try to make it work. That's the idea. Um, what if it was a covered pool? I don't really want to extend the roof line out too much more. Um, 
Yeah, oh, and the thing is, when you start doing that with like the split leveling, it really messes with the shape of the building, like, and, and like how all of the pieces will fit together. So that's why I'm a little bit wary of doing that again. With this, at least it's attached, so it's like easy access. We don't have to get like weird stairs that are all different heights to try and fit them together, you know? Um, but I don't know can make it look like an infinity pool. Well, so that's kind of the idea for part of it. I don't really want to have the whole thing be like that. Must be applied to room above ground floor. Can you not put it on that? I guess not. Very interesting. I wonder if I can put this freeze around the building like there. I don't know, because then the pool has a trim. I don't really want to put a fence around it. I want to do something like that instead. And then imagine if we had a lot of landscaping to like hide the weirdness of it all. I think that this has some potential. We just have to really be so serious about plants. <laughs> We have to do a lot with the plants to try and cover up like some of the odd shapes that we've got going on here. But I think that we can do that. Uh, Guru, I don't really use any mods, no. I have um, I have a couple mods installed. I use things like MC Command Center and UI Cheats, but I don't really use mods for the most part. Um, so not really. <laughs> Why a pool when there's sea right there? You you guys are missing the point. <laughs> it's a fancy rich person's beach mansion. You try and ask them that. They do this in real life all the time. Why a pool when there's ocean right there? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Because you have money, you might as well spend it on a pool. That's the idea. It's luxurious. It might not be practical, but it's luxurious. That's the idea. These people are rich. Um. You go to like beachfront hotels all the time and they've got pools when the ocean's right there too. Um, no. <laughs> uh, no. I forgot about this slight problem. If I wanna do a sliding glass door, they do not like medium wall height. And that just makes me extremely sad. Yeah, beach hotels always have like really wacky pools, don't they? <laughs> it's kind of interesting um, how fancy they end up being in, in real life. I wonder if we could do something like this. I don't think that makes a lot of sense, though, never mind. Go back. Um, the Desert Luxe Store. Well, the Desert Luxe Store is also not tall, um, it's only small. We can open it. It might look kind of cool, but it is also short. Okay. We'll think about it some more. I need to relay out the whole back of this house too. I just don't really know what I want to do with it. So I'm going around and thinking about landscaping. <laughs> um, okay. Something like that, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Sadie, Mac, Renee, Zanaya, Goblin, thank you for the subs, everybody. Um, can put a long glass window over the door. Ah, you know, people always say that. I just don't ever think that that looks good. Like anytime you maybe try and mix and match those, I think that looks weird. You try and use like one of the bigger ones that's wider, I think that looks weird. I just never think that putting it over the door looks how I want it to. I think that's my issue. Um, yeah, the cone is like a little pillow for her. It's kind of cute. <laughs> it is kind of cute. Yeah, I think I like the door. I don't love that it's short, but I think that it's fine enough that we can keep it for now. Was there already a column there? No, okay, go back. I'm not obsessed with how this back of the building is looking. Um, I think that what I'm gonna do is get like a big patio section kind of right there 
we want to make sure that we're leaving ourselves enough space to have beach access, but some sort of patio section like that. And then we can try and, I don't know, do some of the pillars and stuff. Too flat. <laughs> Bestie, I haven't done the back at all. I'm not done. We haven't even touched the back yet. So, so that's, that's okay. We're working on it. All right. Um, we're, we're, we know. <laughs> <laughs> Fanta, Sadie, Macklin, thank you for the subs. Um, you gotta bear with us. We're still, it's, it's a work in progress, okay? <laughs> These things don't come quickly. They take time to make them look cool. Um, I think I wanna, I don't know if I want to do that like that or if I wanna maybe like extend it all the way across the back. I don't think it's a bad thing to have this thing back here too. I'm kind of okay with that, I don't know. Um, but... What do you mean, it's not a complete house yet? Shockingly, no, we're not quite done at this current moment. <laughs> we're, we're not done uh, that fast, in fact. Okay, I think that I would like to have a sliding door again. There are medium wall height sliding doors. I just don't really like them. Um, like this one's too, you see what I mean by how it's too short? Hate, absolutely despise. I'd rather use like a big door like that than the sliding one. Is that a pool? Yeah, <laughs> it's like on the second floor, it's kind of different. Um, it's a little weird, but maybe in a fun way? I don't know. Okay. Let's try and do maybe a small window like that. I'm not really sure yet. I know I want to have a door here. Or maybe the door could be like over this way, I don't know. I think it would have been cool if we had given ourselves a balcony again, but it would have to be a smaller balcony on this side. I don't think that's bad. It's just smaller. When are we playing Stardew Valley? We're going to play some Stardew tomorrow. We will do it a little bit tomorrow. You dare me to use the Star Wars pack? You know, there's there are some things from the Star Wars pack that could be interesting. It's probably best to avoid though, because then this place is more easily downloaded by more people. <laughs> Which might be for the best. Um, yeah, I don't hate that. And then we could probably do... I don't really think I want it to be open twice. Maybe I should do sliding doors there. I'm not sure. Um, okay. Try that one. That comes in the white and the light wood tone. Are you insinuating that some people might not have the Star Wars pack? You know, I, yeah. It is my assumption that most people here do not own the Star Wars pack. And I could be wrong, but I, I do think that, yes. <laughs> I wonder if I should go back to it being short wall height on the top floor. Do you think it looks better like that with the height variation? It does complicate this door again, but that's not that hard to fix. I think I prefer it with them being different heights. Like, to me, I think that looks better, because it's, I don't know, I just think it's more interesting looking, but we could do a poll for who has the Star Wars pack or not, <laughs> maybe. Um, the thing is, the polls are, like, not working right on Twitch recently, so people in chat are going to be like, it's not letting me vote. Um, they've been having a lot of trouble on Twitch with the polls lately. Um, okay. Do you own the Star Wars pack? 73% instantly says no. <laughs> Which is a lot. <laughs> that is a, a 
pretty decent chunk of people. <laughs> Just as we suspected. Um, actually, honestly, 20, it says 26%, 27% is going back and forth. Own it. And that's, I would say more than I thought. Which is kind of interesting. Um, but I guess... And this is like a, a very broad generalization, but I guess a lot of, not all of, but a lot of the people who are here right now are people who like building, you could probably assume, because they're watching a building stream. So maybe because a lot of the people here like to build, they're more likely than the average group to like buy packs like that, that a lot of people wouldn't want. Not everybody. <laughs> Certainly not everybody here is a builder, but I wouldn't be surprised if some were. Um, so it's kind of interesting to think about, I guess. Um, just like Star Wars, that is fair enough. That is cool too. I respect that. Okay. We got to figure out something to put on this doorway right here. We could also do something different with the windows. They don't have to be small like that. Um, I still don't want to have a sliding door, I don't think. I just don't really like that. That one's a bit wider, so that I find annoying. <laughs> oh, we're gonna be here all day trying to figure this one out. Um, that is from, you know what's interesting? These eco lifestyle doors do come in both heights. I wonder if that's too much with the vertical paneling though. Oh, I can try and move my cat cam a bit so it's more centered on her too, now that she's moved over. Um, but I do like how it's matching on both floors. I prefer that about it. Um, you think that's fun and funky? Okay. Well, 26% of chat has the Star Wars pack. That was 302 answers to the poll. 850 people, 74% do not have the Star Wars pack. And that, again, is not completely representative of the whole chat because uh, there's been some issues with polls being buggy recently on Twitch. So there are people who, like, weren't able to vote in that or, like, you know, just didn't want to. <laughs> so... Uh, that is that is also something to consider. Okay, I actually think that that's not that bad for the windows. I might add more later on, but I think that this kind of came together way better than I thought it would. <laughs> I'm really actually kind of impressed by that, I think. I wasn't expecting it to, like, I don't know, go nicely, I guess. I just, I, I always feel like I'm bad at doing modern builds, so I have low expectations for them. Um, but that's kind of cool. Okay. I'm gonna extend that out just a bit. And then I'm gonna do a staircase. Should the staircase be like all the way across? Or is that too much? Also, should it be skinnier? Maybe the staircase should be like all the way across to that point. Cause that's the width of the, the door and the balcony from before. And then we can make it a little bit smaller. Cause that'll leave us some more room on the beach. We'll have some space on the beach for them to have like, you know, a beach towels and stuff <laughs> laid out. Okay, lots of plants. Curved patio, yeah, you know, we could curve this part if we wanted to. I just feel like the whole place is so angled that I'm not sure if I want to. Oh, I haven't saved the game yet. Oh, <laughs> could you imagine? We did like the whole exterior almost. <laughs> Moxie, Marenka, Jesse, thank you for the subs. Um, oh no, that would have been bad. 
Yeah, I think the curve would be a super different vibe and like maybe not in a good way. Um, we want it to sort of fit together nicely. Um, oh good, you don't come in any of the same light colors that the rest of it does. I don't think that we want all of this to be on a foundation like that. I don't know, do I want it to be? I mean, we could do stilted on like some parts of the house and have it be solid in others. I just don't think I like how the stilts look, but I don't know what color to put instead. We could do stilts on just the back patio. Cause this is what's like over the beach properly. Um, how does the pool stand on that? Well, that's why I wasn't going to put it underneath the pool. Um, I do like it on this part though. Even if just that part. Should I do it underneath the front deck too? No, probably not. I think I like it in the back, but not in the front is my final decision, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Bethany, thank you for the 49 month resub. Thank you so much. Um, okay. I think that there should be some glass there. Yeah, in the stream schedule earlier this week, I had originally thought about doing a restaurant build, but today um, I was not feeling inspired to do a community lot. As a lot of us know, I struggle a lot with community lots sometimes. So because I wasn't really feeling all that inspired with the idea of a community lot, I was like, there's no way that we can do that on stream today. <laughs> Hence why the plan changed because I have to be in the right zone to do it successfully. Cause I'm not, I don't really think that I'm that good at community lots. I did something else that I think I'm not good at instead, which is fun, but um, yeah, you gotta like with, I think with Sims builds and stuff, it's, it's good to, you know, you gotta like vibe check it a little. <laughs> if you want it to turn out nicely, at least for me, I have to kind of vibe check it. Um, so that way I am in the, the zone correctly to make it look good. Um, I don't use reshade banana rice pudding. I don't have any reshade. Okay. Mostly white, I think, but then we want to get some accent colors. I'm wondering about doing... I have an idea, and this might be a bad idea. Does the book nook kit have that wall paneling? It's a sort of different color from what we're using, isn't it? Okay, probably not then. I thought it might be interesting to have like wood underneath that. We can maybe get some of this wood in other places, like maybe as a little bit of an accent elsewhere instead of underneath. Because I don't think that looks that bad. Desert Lux walls. The Desert Lux walls are very like stone. Um, so I don't know if I want to use those. Eco lifestyle wood. I think the eco lifestyle wood is like too much. It's it's very patterned, um, and I do like it, but it's just a little bit of a different sort of vibe. I think I was more so going for like very clean lines. Um, Tiger Mom Snappy has to wear a cone because she had surgery on Tuesday to remove a cancerous mass on her leg. So she's uh, wearing a little cone so she can't chew out her stitches. You can't really see with how she's sitting, but she has an incision about this big on her back. Um, so the first one that's more like paneling. Yeah, this one has like, uh, like, I don't know, the notches in it. I kind of prefer this one because it's a bit more plain and it's seamless. So I can put it in between these two rows without it having a line form. You see that? Um, Okay, I don't know. I think that's a good starting point though. I think I like the book nook one, I think is my decision. Okay, let's try and add some outdoor lighting too. I really like these lights. That's why I keep using them <laughs> in my builds. <laughs> I just like them. I think they are good. 
I'm probably gonna want to alt place those, I guess, to be centered with the wall. Because I don't really like them where they slot to. Okay. Okay. They are good lights. They're they're like the patio light, as chat said just now. <laughs> I'm gonna have them have a little bit more of a gray color, because then we can bring in some of the gray from the stone. And then those slot to a decent place, so that's okay. Um place you like right there. Okay. Decent, decent. I have no idea what sort of foundation to use. <laughs> we do have a foundation. This is like the foundation from Island Living. It of course doesn't come in the same colors. So I feel like that's kind of a no-go just cause it's not like the same, it doesn't match. Um, I wish that we could get it in more of a white color. Why is everyone saying bald? Oh, cause she's bald. <laughs> Did she show her bald when she turned around? She's she's shaved. You can't see it from this side, but on the other half of her, um, basically the complete other side is shaved. <laughs> so we were looking at stilts first, Avery. We didn't really like the stilts, especially because of like the pool. It didn't really seem like it made any sense to have it be on stilts. So we decided against doing stilts. We kind of wanted it to be on a more solid ground. There's stilts in the back, but not so much in the front. Keep in mind also that a lot of this is gonna be covered. So you won't see it everywhere. You'll pretty much just see it in the front, like underneath this section. Um, yeah, I think that color is the best version, okay. Snap's gonna get her stitches removed on the, ooh, what day? Two weeks from Tuesday. So like a week and a half from now, it'll be on the 16th. She's getting her stitches out. Um, so she's got some, a ways to go still, unfortunately for her. <laughs> um, you know, Jam, she has tried to get it off a couple times, but she likes this cone better today and yesterday than the plastic one. On day one, she would not wear that. Um, so hence why she had to have the plastic cone at first, because she wouldn't wear this one. Um, we also tried a surgery suit too, and she hated that. That was the worst thing. Um, but now we have accepted the soft cone, which is smart of her because it is objectively better than the other cones. She just wasn't really thinking on the first day, so. <laughs> My kittens hated the soft cone too. They wouldn't wear it, but Sunny wore a surgery suit when she had her spay. Um, but it's a lot more comfortable. And I think she's just kind of gotten used to it more too. Um, so I think that helps. Um, okay, let's take a look at some of the debug landscaping from this pack. Cause there is a lot of really nice kind of beautiful plants that we can mix and match in um, to get that sort of like lush tropical vibe that we're going for. Okay, this one always wants to jump up to the height of the foundation, which makes it hard to use, but it's okay. Yeah, she can like rest her head on it. It is objectively better. I don't know why she was being so grumpy, but she just didn't want to wear a cone at all. So I guess you can't really blame her. Okay, something like that maybe. And then we can mix some bushes back behind them to fill it all in. Do you come in other colors or no? Okay. Oh, she's showing her bald. <laughs> Thank you, Snap, that's really beautiful. People love to see it. Oh. Itchy, I'm sorry. Oh no. I just feel so bad. Oh my God. I'm gonna go scratch her neck. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna go scrunch for her. Oh no, she's leaving. Oh, Sandra, you're coming over here. I can help you. Come here, I scratch you. Or do you not want to be picked up? Okay, you're gonna go to the door and yell to get out of the room. That's fine too. I won't let you out though. <laughs> if she, if you hear any screaming, oh my hair. If you hear any screaming, don't worry about it. She just wants out and she's not allowed out. Okay. Well, let's try again. <laughs> what was I? Yeah. I'm sorry, Worm, you aren't allowed to leave. I know. I know. Life's hard. It's really horrible. It just makes you feel real guilty, doesn't it? I feel like a monster. <laughs> she just can't, she, she has to stay supervised. That's why she's in here. Don't worry, she has everything she needs. She has like a litter box and food and stuff in here. Um, but she has to be supervised. So she has to stay. <laughs> Um, okay. Artemis, Abby, Spicy, thank you for the subs, everybody. I really appreciate that. Um, let me look at more of the island living stuff again. Some of the non-debug island living stuff, because I'm pretty sure... I know. I know. I wonder if we could try and use this in a couple of places. What do you think about that? Is it like too much or? I think it's okay. She's impressively loud. She is extremely loud. <laughs> if there's, yeah, she, um, she, um, especially in the past like couple of years since her hearing's been going, she's been getting very loud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she is a very strong meow. <laughs> um, it's, it's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can put these in over here. You came back. Come here, Snappy. Do you want to come up? I can put you up. I can't put you out, but you can come up. Free me, free me, come here. I'll show you to the people, you can sit on my desk. <laughs> Hi Shella, by the way. <laughs> Unicorn voice, thank you for the subs. Um, well, just lay down and don't try and get underneath my monitor, all right? Those are the rules. I feel like it's kind of busy, but I guess that's good. I don't know. I don't know. Um, the tail in the face cam is so nostalgic. Yeah, <laughs> she just walks around. You see some tail in the way. She's funny. Um, oh, how about some of this? This would be good too. Maybe sized up, I don't know. I think it's pretty not too busy at all. Okay, that's good. As long as you don't think it is too busy, then it is fine. Oh. Can I use this? This one, like I said, it wants to float. I'm sorry, I have to keep like leaning all the way forward because I can't see some of these keys on my keyboard because of the cat. <laughs> some of it cannot be accessed <laughs> at this current moment. So <laughs> you gotta be uh, careful where we're looking. I'm my own worst critic. I know, I know. Snappy, can I scoot you just a bit so I can see my keyboard? Thank you. Okay. Um, well, I don't really want to like overdo it with the same bushes everywhere, everywhere, but I do think that's kind of cute, so. Size down the red flowers. Well, it's actually a tree, which is why it's so big, because it's technically a giant tree. Or I guess, I guess it's a small tree. It looks like a large bush and a small tree. <laughs> it's both. Um, 
But it is technically a tree, so that's why it's quite large like that. Okay. This is in Sulani Lilith. It's the world that comes with island living is where we're building right now. Which is why there is giant sections of beach. Because <laughs> as we all know, we cannot usually have beaches anywhere else in The Sims 4. You think it's a bush? It's in the tree category. So it's a hibiscus tree. Um, it is, it is in fact a tree. <laughs> Uh, the game decided, and so so it shall be, I guess. Isn't it Sulani? Didn't I? Did I call it the wrong thing? I said it was in Sulani, didn't I? I don't think I misspoke. I guess I may have misspoken <laughs> when I was talking about it. Hey, thank you for the raid, everybody. Welcome in. You caught us at kind of a fun time. I'm doing a like fancy beach house today. Um, so we're working on the exterior right now of this kind of fancy modern beach house. Uh, it has like a, a second floor infinity pool thing going on, which is kind of cool. So <laughs> thank you for coming by. If you hear any noises or if you see any tails, don't be alarmed. My cat is on my desk. <laughs> um, so if you, if you see anything and you're like, what the heck is that? It's a cat. It's a cat. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe, do you want to go way in the back of that one? Sure. And then, I think we want to get... Maybe two of them? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not really certain about this landscaping. You just bought Stardew Valley? Oh, very exciting. You know I love Stardew Valley. <laughs> I hope you have the best time. I think you will, because starting was just a great time, but that is very fun. Okay, we should probably try and get a few more of these in some places. All I can think about is Stardew. I don't think you're alone in that. Um, I think a lot of us are kind of in that boat right now. Have I saved recently? No, but I should. Good call. <laughs> Austin, Dave, Ducky, Pointy, thank you for the subs. Um, okay. Maybe one more of those, like over here, because there's a little bit of space for it. And that might be a good setup for the beginning of the landscaping, at least. Okay. Um, I think I might also put just for like some more vibes on the side, I might get us a little bit more of that around the edge of the pool because it's kind of boring. And then, I don't know what I'll do with this part. I guess we'll see. If we finish the build early, can we play Stardew or 100, baby? Okay, I don't think that we're gonna finish the build early. Uh, I feel like it's probably a very low chance <laughs> of, of this being a quick build, but. <laughs> We shall see. Um, I, I did see the SDX drop, Sims Girlie. Yeah, I was pretty excited about it. Unfortunately, my cat was actively having surgery when the SDX drop came out, so <laughs> I didn't make a video about it. Um, I was kind of sad about that one, but uh, yeah, Snap was a little preoccupied that day. <laughs> so I, I did not talk about it on YouTube. <laughs> Um, okay, let's see about a mailbox too. Mike, thank you for the 34 months. Thank you so much. Um, is Snap okay? Yeah, she's pretty much okay, sorta. I mean, she had surgery to remove cancer. <laughs> she had a mass on her leg that they removed. Um, and, and she's on some pretty heavy pain meds. She's been struggling the past couple days, but um, did what we could, you know? Okay. I think that I like that. I might put a mailbox on the wall instead though. I feel like that's maybe better. Um, yeah, it's the SDX drop is some new swatches to two existing base game hairs. Um, they added some like more colorful swatches to them, so. Okay, like a dyed version basically of two of the base game hairs. I'm gonna make sure we go through and have this like 
completely filled in, even in some of the open spaces, like down here, because I don't want there to be like ground showing. And then I think that might be most of the exterior done. <laughs> I feel good about that. Maya, thank you for the, for the resub too. Thank you so much. Prime sub, sorry. Thank you so much. What am I saying? All right, let's think floor plan. We have to be careful about this because um, I'm not 100% sure how exactly I want to do it. And we need to make sure that they have plenty of access to the upstairs balconies. So part of me is thinking that maybe the staircase should get like wrapped around a corner, kind of like in there. Um, I don't really think it should be a U shape because the U shape's kind of ick. But it also might be kind of cool if it was a U shape. I don't know. Yeah, and maybe the kitchen could go over here up against the pool. That's kind of a good idea, to be honest, because we have this whole big blank wall. Um, okay, let's try that staircase thing again. Maybe I'll use this staircase. But I want it to be... Oh, I did it wrong. Okay, I need it to be the other way around. I want to go like... Stop! Oh my god. Help! There. No, there we go. I wanted it to be like that. And this will be cool because we can like open that up a little bit in front of it. Which makes for a nicer looking space. <laughs> Lily, thank you for the bits. Thank you so much. Um, okay. So... I guess potentially that becomes... Oh, I guess you don't want that to be a bedroom though, do you? Because that has a lot of the outdoor space. Ooh. So where does the bedroom go? Are you going to get off the desk, Snappy, or are you going to lay down? Okay, she's laying down. Um, well, I don't want to have like just one bedroom up here, but these are kind of, it's kind of skinny, so that. I guess complicates things. <laughs> we need the we need a place where we can have some pool access. Oh. Each bedroom get one balcony. Yeah, but the thing is, you see how like kind of skinny this is? I don't think it's that bad. Let me scoot you again, Snappy, sorry. Um I guess it can be kind of long and skinny, even if that's weird. And maybe there gets an extra bathroom added right there. I don't know. And we have like a secondary living room in this space or something. Okay, so those are kind of small, those bedrooms. They're kind of weird too. But I guess these could maybe be like kids' bedrooms. Oh, you know what else we could also potentially do that might be interesting? We could leave this completely open. If we can manage to get another bedroom downstairs, then we can have just the two kids' bedrooms up here and then like a hall bathroom. But that's only if we're able to get an extra bedroom downstairs. Otherwise, this is going to have to be probably an ensuite because this is supposed to be a fancy person's house, so they would have an ensuite bathroom. <laughs> Like, absolutely, they would have an ensuite bathroom. Um, primary bedroom downstairs is not unrealistic. It's just hard to figure out where that would go with, like, all of the odd shapes of things. Maybe the primary bedroom could be here. And then I guess this could become the kitchen. And then we have like a dining table and this is the living room. Oh, where does the TV go though? Hmm. Okay, here's a new idea. This is, some people like get really upset when I do this. Um, 
so just like hear me out i cannot use my keyboard um they get upset when i have the the dining room and the living room like in a different order basically <laughs> um but imagine if there was like a living room here because then we have this big wall that we can put the tv on here because they would have a big tv like let's just be honest they would there it's a fancy house they're rich people like they'd have a big tv we need a wall for it we can still have the kitchen be in this little nook kind of like this but people get upset if the dining table is like farther away my thought process is that that's not even that unrealistic like in real life people have formal dining rooms all the time that are like kind of tucked off to the side and not as close to their living space um it's off the grid maybe there's no tv oh no this house is not an off the grid house <laughs> the lot is originally off the grid ours is not off the grid um but they i mean like it, this is very realistic for people to have stuff like that um i guess you could potentially put the tv like upstairs like uh, like a rec room but even then there's not a lot of wall space for the tv and i kind of like having it in the main living space um but this is supposed to be a fancy house so they are a hundred percent on the grid <laughs> like without a doubt these people are on the grid <laughs> um there's no way that they've gotten off the grid house I, i'm kind of wondering now about like maybe doing i mean this gives us like a a more formal entryway that does kind of throw off this part oh and this house this room has way less windows um I don't know if we could do them like just the two windows. I don't think that's as good, but that makes this a nice like downstairs hall bathroom because then this primary bedroom can have an ensuite bathroom, which is really good. So there's in total three bedrooms or sorry, three bathrooms and three bedrooms in this house. And then this becomes like a fancy formal dining room in this area. So there would be like, and again, I would pick a different setup for this, but there would be like a big, long formal dining table. You cannot jump down on your own, Snappy. I'll put you down, but you can't jump. Okay. Um, <laughs> but they would have a dining table kind of like this, which is cool because think about the view for entertaining. I don't know. I don't think that's bad. I think it's kind of nice. Maybe piano in the dining room. Oh my God, they are fancy. I guess we could do something like that maybe. Um, let me think about perhaps getting another window. I was thinking about a bar in the dining room, but a piano is also fun. So I don't really have a preference. I'm gonna put that window there because then this bedroom has another window. Um, and then up here, I guess this becomes like a secondary lounge, but this is kind of meant to be like a, a sitting area, conversation space, game room. She's back on her little chair and she looks really silly. Um, so we'll see. I don't know. Maybe a bar, maybe not. I don't really know yet. If we put a piano, they could have a whole giant grand piano. There is space for once in here, but I don't know if I want to do that or not. <laughs> I'm not really sure, so we'll have to see. Um, okay. This primary bedroom has like a lot of hall space happening, which is a little unnecessary. She's staring right into the camera. Yeah, <laughs> she does that. Gippy, thank you for the 31 months. Nicole, BP, thank you for the subs too. Um, okay. Should we do this flooring that we have outside on the inside? Maybe. I don't know. The growing together piano? Maybe. I think if we do that, I'd probably put that piano upstairs. But I'm not really sure how I want to lay this out just yet. I'll have to think about it a little bit more. Um... Okay, just delete all that furniture so we can think about the layout. <laughs> She's so funny. Um, maybe? Oh, we should use Home Chef Hustle. 
Yeah, and you know what? That, like, light green color is kind of good. I think we should do that. We could potentially get an island, like, this way, too. Get ourselves some more space. Um, so, Haley, everybody keeps saying this. <laughs> the suggestion is, what if the living space was upstairs? There's gonna be a secondary living space upstairs. Um, but I... Uh, for my personal gameplay, would really prefer to have a TV somewhere downstairs too, at the very least, because I like having my Sims have a TV to like sit and eat by and stuff to get their needs up. So this is just a like a, a practical thing that I don't really want to change, you know? Um, I, I like it like this, so I'd want to keep it. Um, is this for my game? No, it's just for fun. <laughs> It's just for fun. But with stuff like that, like, obviously I'm gonna build it to my own personal gameplay tastes, you know? Um, cause I'm the one building it, so I'm gonna want it to be how I like to play. Um, I don't know about that. Most of the builds that we do are just kind of for fun though, chat. I mean, I, I build a lot for my videos and streams and we don't need a new house three times a week, you know? <laughs> Um, so the, the building is, is its own gameplay in that sense. I have that clipping together a little bit. I just like how it looks better this way. I need to think about it though. Kind of see how we feel. Um, okay. For some of us, building is how we play the game. Exactly. <laughs> uh, Clara, thank you for the, for the resub 30 months. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Okay. Oh no. Hate that. I have to clip this together too. It's not that bad though, when you clip this particular counter together. It definitely could be worse. So it's fine. Um, are we gonna do the light green? I guess probably, right? And if we really wanted to, I guess we could do open shelving on like either side of the stove and put it over here. I just don't really, I kind of want to have, um, I'm trying to get some separation. Maybe I'll swap it and have the stove over there. I'm trying to get separation on purpose between the kitchen and the TV space. Okay. I don't know. Um, I like the corner shelving chat, I do. I just prefer it more, like, I don't know. I just don't like it when it's in between two cabinets. Maybe that's the problem. I don't love it when they like tuck it behind things. Oh, what you doing, Snappy? <laughs> Trying to get comfortable. Um, yeah, I don't know. I hate it when it, I'll, I'll show you what it does when it auto does it. But I just, like, that to me is so weird. You would never have shelving like that. You can't even touch it. So what you have to do is put open shelving, like, next to it, but I would like to have real cabinetry on the ends of this. You know? Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't be able to get things out of the corner shelves like that. So they're not really meant to be, like, stuck in between stuff. Um, so I, I like the idea of it. I just don't think that it's the most practical thing in the world, functionally. And you know what else? I don't like corner shelves. I don't like open shelves at all. I don't really want to have open shelving in this kitchen. I would never want open shelving in real life. It would just get dusty. Maybe I'll close it. it do, it's not that bad when you combine them. You can kind of see it clipping a little bit, but just don't look too close at it. It's fine. Um, okay. JD, thank you for the, for the resub too. Thank you so much. Um, open shelving shows all my mess. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, I don't know, it's like, I don't have all matching plates and stuff, like, it's, it's a good idea in theory, I guess, but practically it's not, 
it's not my vibes. <laughs> okay, so we have that. I wanna look at the horse ranch stuff quickly, which might sound weird, but the horse ranch stuff, this to me kinda has like sunset energy, which I think is perfect for this house, because it's on the beach. Um, so I like the idea of that. I think that's kind of cool. Um, maybe I'll use, honestly, maybe I'll use this eco lifestyle stuff because those are kind of nice. We could even mix and match like some different chair colors in if we really wanted to. I don't know if I like that or not. It's kind of nice though. Probably not that one. We have that seafoam green color, but that's very similar to the color of the cabinets. It's just slightly off. It might be fun to move them over there and kind of keep it on purpose. Um, we can get a cute table, something like that. I don't think I want to do the orange. I don't I don't think that orange is my vibes. I don't know. I do think that this looks cool. Let me look at the cats and dog stuff cuz there's some really nice paintings from cats and dogs. These are actually meant to be arranged in like a square. If you look at all the swatches, I can show you. Um I don't remember what order they're supposed I think it's like that, but they're meant to go in like a square kind of together. Um, and there is one that's a little bit more floral. I don't really like that one together though. I don't know if that blue looks okay. I think it's too dark. So that's sad. I don't like the other one as much. This one doesn't have like square energy as much. Hmm. I don't know. How about dark red? Oh God. <laughs> I don't know about the red one. Um, it doesn't really pick up on the rug in the way that you think it does. I just hate this one, chat. I know that people, they want me to use it. You all like it. I just hate it. I hate it. It's so not my vibes. I don't like it at all. I'd rather use that one if we use it at all. Um, I, I like this one best out of those. Um, we don't have to use that one. We can maybe use a different piece of art. I just don't know what kind. Um, maybe like, I don't know. I like the idea of big artwork like that lined up. You know what? This one kind of has the right energy. Even if we put that somewhere else, like if we put that in the hallway or something, that is kind of the right vibes. I don't know if it's too much when paired with this little corner. It needs to be sized down for sure. I'm okay with that though, I think. We also need to put something underneath it. I wanna get maybe some bookshelves, lots to do. I like the City Living paintings a lot. I think they're really nice. They always, they always work well too. Maybe one small bookshelf there. We could get a huge plant. I don't really know what that means for us. Maybe the movie hangout one. Hmm. This plant is huge. So that could be kind of interesting to put in the corner. I like that color. It's huge and it's tropical, which is the exact right vibes. If we really want to, we could probably also go back and get an island again. Um, 
which maybe would help with people's anger about the dining room being further away. <laughs> we could put an island back there. I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm comfortable with this, I think. Should we do it in like a cream color? I don't know. Is Crystal Creations on CD keys yet? I'm not sure. We'd have to, we'd have to look that one up. I don't know. Um, I bought a lot of packs on CD keys over the weekend, but I'm not sure if I bought, I didn't buy any Crystal Creations and I didn't, I guess I didn't see it. And I probably would have bought it if I had seen it, right? So maybe no. There's, this house is three bedrooms, Torres. Um, it's three bedrooms, one downstairs and two upstairs. If I wanted to make like one of the balconies be private in a bedroom, we could probably have more bedrooms than that and get like four, but basically the pool is upstairs. So I want this to be open living space for everybody. Okay, I was looking at the growing together lights. I don't know if I like those. <laughs> Here's a fun little tidbit for you. Um, when we were doing the builds for Growing Together, these lights originally were flipped the other way. Um, they were like hanging down instead of pointing straight up and they decided to change it, um, which is just kind of interesting. I don't really know why. I think they looked kind of weird when they were upside down. So I guess I can see that. I'm gonna bring a sim so I can change the lighting color. Something about it just seemed kind of off. Um, but that's a little tidbit that maybe you didn't know. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna grab a Stanley and I will stick him in the house. Isn't there a flame in those two? I don't think so. They look like exclamation marks. Oh, that's cute. I like that. That's a fun way to describe them. Yeah, I think it would be cool, Copper, if they told you more stuff like that about like the behind the scenes. I guess I can understand why they wouldn't want to tell you about like stuff that they didn't make. <laughs> like I can see why they wouldn't be like, hey, we almost did this and then didn't because then people are going to be like, no, do it, <laughs> you know? Um, so I can see why they wouldn't share that, but it, I wish that they showed us more behind the scenes just in general because seeing things like concept art and stuff like that is always really fun. Um, and it's, it's cool when they do show us stuff like that. Okay. Oh, they probably don't have a lot of clutter in this kitchen, do they? I was gonna put like dishes, but they don't have like their dishes out in this kitchen. This is an extremely fancy kitchen. The dishes are put away. <laughs> Those are not just out and about for people to be looking at, you know? We are rich. We don't we don't keep our dishes in a in a drying rack. Come on. They don't have clutter. They're too rich for clutter. Okay. I might put that on the corners. I think I like it on those corners. I don't know. They probably don't even cook. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be surprised to be honest. No, I don't these people probably cook. Maybe not a lot, but I bet I bet these people cook. I think they do. I was considering putting like a pet bed underneath the stairs. I don't know if that's a good idea. We'll have to look and see. Well, that one actually kind of matches. But that was the concept. I think I like that swatch too. I think that's actually kind of cute. <laughs> Okay, uh, and it fits really well right there. So we'll have to find a place to put a dog bowl. I'm gonna look at the everyday clutter kit. See if we can find anything else. I don't even know if I want that there. Is there anything you wanna put on this table? Maybe a game? From the greenhouse kit, how about this? Here's a fun question, chat. If they were to make another clutter kit, what kind of clutter would you want them to do? Like if you could pick any kind of clutter kit, what would be your pick of the type of clutter? I am curious. 
medieval clutter. Okay, only Brew says that. <laughs> kitchen clutter. I think my pick would be kitchen clutter or like a, I don't know, like an office type of vibe. Um, we have only, we have bathroom clutter and general clutter. So, but those would be my picks, I think. Um, only Bruin said medieval clutter. <laughs> Brew plays this game in a very interesting way. It's, it really is quite something. <laughs> okay, I wanna put somewhere, and maybe it's behind the stairs is where it ends up being, but I wanna get like some sort of vertical paneling. Oh wait, maybe the vertical paneling should go here and we move the artwork somewhere else. Cause that's like a fun nod to the rest of the outside of the house. Oh, that's clipping too. Oh, oops. Let's just get two of them or do we do three? Probably just two, right? But we can have that little nod to it. Okay. More wall painting clutter. Yeah, honestly, like a, a bunch of wall art would be so good. I would, I would very much like to have more wall art in The Sims. I think about that kind of thing all the time. Um, outdoor clutter, that's interesting. I like that concept too. All right, maybe we do some sort of accent wall, something that's painted slightly with a more Interesting color. I don't know. That kind of has that sage green. I don't even know if I like that. I think it's okay. It's not terrible. Maybe I do some more of these up here too. Oh, short wall height ones. I don't know how I want to split this space up. I'm like really confused about what the best way to organize this would be. It's kind of weird. Weird in a fun way, but like just kind of weird. So I don't really know. Okay, maybe I want a wallpaper that has a baseboard. I think that would help us too. It can be a lot of white but I think it should probably have a baseboard. Fix their bugs clutter? Oh boy. Look, I know what people mean when they say this. <laughs> However, <laughs> the team that works on bugs is not the team who makes packs. Like when they make a pack, it doesn't detract from the bug fixes. It is annoying that they're trying to sell you things when the game has bugs, but it's not really related if it makes you feel any better. <laughs> Um, they're, they're like two different things. Mater, thank you for the sub 26 months. And Midnight, thank you for the for the sub two. Fire Opal, Boba, thank you so much. Bug clutter, like literal insects. <laughs> you know, we do actually kind of have that. We got a bunch of bugs because you can find bugs in Outdoor Retreat. So if you think about it, we do kind of have bug clutter. Which is upsetting, but true, technically. Okay, I wanna have lights above this. I'm not really obsessed with any of them. They're like all too high up. It would not be that high. Oh no, we're about to do something really dangerous. Oh, I don't like the colors on that, dang it. Maybe we could make that work though. That's that's the Star Wars pack. Pet clutter, but not just cats and dogs. Give me clutter bedding pack for my mouse. My second pet stuff. Oh, and is what you're asking for my second pet stuff? <laughs> I actually, 
it would be fun if they made more pet content. Like, I actually wouldn't be mad about that. Like, like if we got like lizards and birds and stuff. But could you imagine if they did that, how mad people would be? <laughs> I think to an extent that would actually be kind of iconic. Like to come out and be like, you've heard of my first pet stuff. <laughs> Get ready for my second pet stuff. <laughs> Okay, I think actually cats and dogs might have a light that's better for this. The tiny living ones are good too, but they're a little bit too um, small. Oh, maybe if we did this, we'd wanna get something different above the kitchen. I like that fancy light though, that's cool. Maybe I could just use these, even if they're not like the exact vibes that I really want. They're just too high. I end up using these as if they're kitchen island pendants sometimes. Those are also kind of too high. But, oh, do you not come in silver? No, because of course you don't. That would just make too much sense. I don't think I like those. 90% of chat says yes to my second pet stuff. <laughs> What? Honestly, could you imagine if they did that? I think that the Sims community might explode. I, I would like it. I would like it. That's a little bit more, it's kind of a different vibe, right? It's like very, I don't know. It's very beach and maybe in a bad way, but like maybe in a cool way too. I don't know if it's too different from the rest of the house. Maybe I'll make it all more yellow toned because it's kind of too dark in there. We can have a little ocean reference. I think that's probably for the best. Okay, keep that centered. Let's get some clutter. 88% of chat says my second pet stuff. Wow. <laughs> That's kind of scary. <laughs> um, how about like just in general, I think some extra little bits of books will be nice. Um, maybe they've gone on like a vacation. They went to the city. We have that little thing that brings in some of the yellow. So that's good. I think that we need some sort of art piece. Oh, I know. Dine out. This is going to be kind of weird, okay? But imagine for a second if the art piece was like, oh, it's too big. I was going to say if it were like hung up in this area. It might be a little too blue and green, but if it's high up, it's fine. I think that looks cool on that wall. And we can get a nice little wall light above it. Oh, she's being very cute. I can try and move the camera. I It's not really on her that well, so I can try and adjust it just a bit so that we can see her some more. There you go. Better framed cat cam. She's being really cute. <laughs> Look at that. Poor little snap. <laughs> if you're just coming to the stream and you're like, why is your cat wearing that? Um, you are evil. I swear I'm not evil. She had surgery on Tuesday. Um, so she has to wear it because she cannot eat her stitches. So <laughs> I swear I'm not like some evil villain forcing my cat to wear that thing just for fun. <laughs> it unfortunately has to be done. <laughs> she must wear it even though she really does not want to. Um, is she okay? Yeah, sort of. <laughs> she, she had surgery to remove a cancerous mass in her leg. Um, so she's not like thriving, but <laughs> she's doing better. <laughs> she's doing better. Uh, Sika, thank you for the resub. Snowball, thank you for the resub too. Thank you so much. Um, all right, let's get a little bit more clutter in this. 
Oh, some of the gray is probably nice. Okay, not a ton of clutter, just a bit of clutter. It's kind of the vibes. Oh my God, this is a disaster. Go away. I want to alt place that. There we go. That's more like it. Okay. <laughs> These counters are from the Home Chef Hustle pack. Um, which, which is a pretty good one. It's one of the newer, oh my God, look at her. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being loud. You're so cute. Oh, she, you can see she's missing teeth as well. She had to get some teeth removed six months ago. One of her fangs is gone. She's only got three fangs. She's a mess, truly. <laughs> she looks less dopey today. Well, yeah, she's not looking as, she's not as um, medicated right now. She's gonna have, she finished her round of uh, the bigger meds. So um, she hasn't, she had it this morning, but not like before stream. I'm gonna give it to her after stream. So she's not as like loopy. <laughs> she's not as loopy basically. <laughs> oh, let's give them this. Do you think that's nice or is it too busy? I don't know. I think it is nice. I think the, it's kind of a fun idea too, being able to have that and have them like bake with it. Okay. Wait, stop, alt place. I think plants are what I'm going for. Lots of little bits of plants. Okay, so the kitchen could probably be almost done. I'm gonna wanna get a trash can. Should they have the fancy trash can? It being right there is kind of inconvenient because it's like close by to the um, walkway. Maybe there is okay. We need to get a dog bowl too, but I'm thinking I'll put the dog bowl in the dining room. Cause we have a lot of space for it over there. Um, let's try the dining room now too, just so we can figure it out. Ghostly, thanks for the 24 months. <laughs> Thank you so much. They probably don't need the money. You know, you're right. They don't need the money trash can cause they're rich and they don't recycle. They're too wealthy for that. <laughs> they don't need to recycle. Oh, what a terrible thought. Okay, anyway. <laughs> is the pink the Anacona flower? Oh no, the little thing that's up there is a logo. It's like a peach. She's like staring blankly, isn't she? <laughs> I just feel so bad. She's kind of using the freezer bunny like a pillow. All right, let's try this and maybe we do it in like, oh, we have that light green color. Let's try that one. What breed is Snap? Oh, she's just a, a standard issue cat. People ask that all the time. And people's cat breeds, there are fancy cat breeds, like there are dog breeds. Most people don't have fancy cat breeds though. Like for the most part, if you encounter a cat, it's a domestic short hair, maybe domestic long hair. Um, but it's just, people joke standard issue cat. She's just a cat, basically. <laughs> she's no fancy cat breed. I've been telling people this week that she's 25% hairless. Um, <laughs> but, but no, she's just a standard issue cat <laughs> who is shaved. So uh, they're not really, people don't really often have fancy cat breeds as much. But they do exist. Um, you might've seen like, I don't know, people have like, uh, Scottish folds, their ears do the little like floppy thing. Um, but I've never had a fancy cat. I have uh, Miss 25% hairless and sewer cats. <laughs> so 
That's that's uh who we have in this house. <laughs> okay, I think I might do those six kind of fancy chairs and I'll use a darker table. You refer to your cat's breed as cat. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah. Um, and that is probably correct. Most likely. Um, people talk about like the coloring of cats more. So she is a tabby cat, but that refers to like the color of her fur and the pattern of her fur, not to her breed. Um, so like she's a tabby cat. You may have seen a tuxedo cat that's like black with the white paws and stuff. Um, but that's the, the color. Should we try that again over there? I didn't use it before. I kind of want a bigger one though. I really love this light. That's just so cool. Do you think we should dare use it over here instead of in the living room? She's standing up. Hello? Hi, Miss Snap. Oh, we're stretching. Okay. <laughs> Are you gonna come back over here now? Maybe you're gonna go get a snack? She's going to get a snack. Her food bowl is like basically empty. I don't know what she's hoping to find in there. <laughs> she stood around, now she's going up to it. She's, she's gonna do it. She wants food. Okay. Do both? You want me to have the light in both places? Is it too much to have the light in both places, do you think? I don't know. Hey, Smarly, thank you for the raid. Welcome in. We're currently building a kind of fancy modern house, which is very unlike me. <laughs> it's like a fancy modern beach house. Um, I think it's turning out kind of cool. We're working on the furnishings a little bit right now. Uh, but thank you for coming by. Now she's in her litter box again. I think she'll be okay. If I have to remove the cone for her to use the litter, I will. Um, but welcome, welcome, it's good to see you all. Oh, I'm gonna do some curtains on these, I think. I wanna use the Desert Lux Kit curtains. Those are nice. I think I will put them on this too. You might hate how high up they are, um, but this is kind of like the standard when you're Doing, oh, she's gonna go to the door and scream now. If you hear a cat yelling, listen, she's trapped in here and she has to be because she needs to be supervised. Um, yeah. <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen. I knew we were getting there. It, you'll, you might think um, that she's, she's uh, so tortured and neglected, but actually she had surgery a couple days ago. <laughs> so whether she likes it or not, she has to sit in here. <laughs> And she, she wants out right now, so. Sorry, Snappy, you have to stay. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, the curtains. The, the designers, they tell you to hang them up to like basically the height of your ceiling because it makes your walls look taller and your windows look bigger. So that's what they recommend. Okay, let's pick some artwork for this wall too. I'd like to get some more of the orange and blue if we can. I'm thinking about some of the dream home decorator stuff. And maybe that would be a good option because we have this kind of pretty sun picture. That matches nicely. Have I saved lately? No, let's do that. What? I know, I'm so mean, I trapped you. I'm just horrible, aren't I? You have to wait, Kitty, I'm sorry. We'll go downstairs together, I know. I know. Now you want up? Come here. Do you want up or not? She can't decide, I'll wait. <laughs> She's walking around underneath my desk, oh my God. May, thank you for the 31 months. You submitted your thesis, so you're done with your master's degree. Congratulations, that is amazing. And Journey, thank you for the three months too. Where? You wanna? Okay, come here. No, you don't want up? What do you, what do you want then? 
You are very confusing. I'm sorry that I'm so distracted, chat. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, there's just a lot of cat stuff happening at the moment. <laughs> and it is extremely distracting. <laughs> now she's on the tree. Okay. She wants my attention? Yeah, that's what it is. She's trying to get my attention so that I'll let her out, but I won't do that. I will not do that. <laughs> okay, I think I want to try and put a bar. I kind of like the idea of there being a bar built into the wall somehow. I don't really know what it should look like, but I kind of want to, oh no, not that one. Definitely not that one. Um, Snappy, you can't fit there, oh my God. She managed to climb up the tree a little. Oh, here we go. Now she's on the desk. Okay, so remember, you cannot go underneath the monitor because you have a giant flower on your head. So you cannot do that, you have to be carried, okay? She keeps getting onto the desk and then trying to go underneath my monitor as if she's gonna be able to get here from there. But shockingly, actually, you cannot get onto my desk from underneath my monitor because you've got a massive cone. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I like that. It's like a good idea in theory. I just don't know if it's what we want this to look like. Can I build a wall here? Maybe I could put it built in with cabinets. Or just do it kind of like that and put, no, cause I don't want the counter or the, the curtains to be off. We can put a bar upstairs. It doesn't have to be down here. Might be better upstairs. Um, make it have bar stools to fill up space. I don't think I want to do that. One of the ideas that a lot of people in chat were having before was to maybe put a piano in this house. Um, and I do kind of like the idea of a fancy piano. Um, I think that could be kind of a nice touch. Maybe I'll do the... My plant! Oh my god. I'll have to put that back later. Um, a bar outside the kids' bedroom is perfect. Okay, it sounds weird, but remember that this is where all the entertaining stuff happens. <laughs> People keep like sodas in their bars too. It's not that bad. Um, it's not that bad. Does a grand piano fit? Yeah, but I don't really like the look of them that much. I think I like how this one looks. You'll have to let me know, but I, I don't think I like this one. Um, I wonder if we could get like a fancy chair. A big giant lounge chair right there. I don't know. It could be cool. I don't normally use that sort of thing. I think that makes a little bit of sense as well. So they can lay out and lounge a bit or whatever. Oh, I never use this. I don't think I'm going to. Okay, maybe we get a nicer lamp somehow. Lay in the chair and be serenaded. There you go. Oh, how about this thing? Okay, it's always got kind of that like purple accent to it, but I don't think that's bad because I mean, there's like a dark blue, not really purple, but I don't really mind how that looks. I feel like it's kind of nice. That's from the book nook kit. That little light I just used. Um, that could be good. Two pictures. If you want down, just ask, but you aren't allowed to jump down, okay? That's the rule. You can't be trusted. All right, let's think about the entryway again. Yeah, the book nook kit has some really nice things in it. Um, more than you might even realize. It, Cause you know it's a nice pack, like everybody can tell book nook is a nice kit, but it has some stuff that like, you might kind of forget about in there too, which is nice. Could you imagine <laughs> we put that thing in here? I think we need a kind of big mirror. And I honestly, I kind of like the idea of it being a little bit sculptural. 
Like, I think that's a little cool. Do I use CC? No, not really. Um, I have a couple recolors in my game of things that I use for like my Not So Berry Challenge, but I'm not really a big custom content person for the most part. I don't have a ton of mods or CC at all. Oh yeah, and it matches the waves on the ceiling. That's smart. There you go, we have it matching the light. See, it's so intentional. <laughs> we planned this all along. <laughs> We knew exactly what we were picking. It was all on purpose. Um, it looks kind of like water. Yeah, I think that's actually really nice. Very cool. All right, I'm gonna get a thermostat. That mirror is from the, yeah, it's from the pastel pop kit. I had to check, I wasn't sure. Um, it's from pastel pop. I'm like trying to remember <laughs> as I was as I was looking at it, but um, okay. I'm sorry. Was there another earthquake? Did that just happen, chat? Are you currently experiencing that as we speak? An aftershock right now. Wow. Okay. <laughs> um, well, I hope everything's okay. That is kind of scary. <laughs> Your house just shook. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Well, that is scary. Hopefully everything's all right. Um, maybe it is relieving to you to know that it's not just you and everybody else can feel it too. Not everybody, but a lot of people can feel it too. Um, that is really scary. Earthquakes absolutely terrify me. That is not a, a thing that I have experience with, obviously. <laughs> so... Um, Okay, let me see about getting a bathroom clutter kit candle. Okay, maybe just one set of books then. Yeah, yeah, I, I do not, earthquakes are so terrifying. I'm just like, my realm of natural disaster is very different obviously in Florida, so. <laughs> Um, earthquakes are, are really terrifying to me. Um, okay, let's see about maybe getting a little bit more of the everyday clutter kit. I don't really know what all they have, but I'm thinking maybe some sort of, maybe like the phone and keys. Even if that's all we do, I think that would be all right. Okay. Scoot it over just a bit more. Snap, careful. She's rubbing her face into my hand. I can't build. <laughs> um, maybe you could become like brighter color. I don't know. Let's do another plant too. Hurricanes are scary. Yeah, I mean, hurricanes are scary. Hurricanes are scary, but I feel like a little bit more better equipped for that, you know? Um, I feel a little bit better equipped to deal with a hurricane than I do with an earthquake, which makes sense given the fact that I live in Florida. <laughs> um, that, that checks out, so. Yeah, nature is just scary, huh? A little weird. Okay, let's do the bathrooms now because we have most of the downstairs pretty much complete. So we can go think about the, the bathrooms for a bit. Um, yeah, you can definitely prepare more for a, for a hurricane than with other things, but it's just, it's helpful that you know when it is coming. Obviously it's uh, very dangerous and bad, but it is very helpful to like, they can predict it and they know, you know, when it's gonna get there. They can see how strong the winds are. And obviously you have to deal with things like flooding that are super scary and dangerous, but at least, I don't know, it's a bit easier to prepare. Okay, I'm gonna put that all the way up on top of those. All right, what kind of tile would be good? I know that we had used this tile in the kitchen, but maybe I could get it in that kind of pretty green color. We could do different tile in all of the bathrooms potentially, and that might be a nice touch. 
I feel like this one should be just a toilet and a sink. Let's not put a shower in here because it's just like the downstairs powder room. So we'll make it a little bit smaller. Oh, we have to get a food bowl for the dog. I forgot about that. Um, the dog's food bowl is going to go right here. Snappy, I can't really use my keyboard. <laughs> You're completely plugging it. I really appreciate the help, but <laughs> you're completely blocking it. I don't like any of those colors. If you want off the desk, just let me know. I will put you down, but remember you can't go alone, okay? Like we talked about. Snappy wants to build. Yeah, she's like, you're not paying enough attention to me. You're doing all this stuff, but you're not actually petting me. Come here, scoot a little bit more. That's all. Okay, is that fine for the dog's bowl? The seasons one is cute, but I think it's too patterned. I don't really wanna have a lot of patterns in this house. I'm kinda of trying to have it be a little bit more subtle. Okay. That'll probably have to do. My first pet stuff bowl. <laughs> I do, it's fine, but I think I might just use this one. You know what else we could do instead is get the automatic feeder and put it like kind of in the corner. And that might be a little bit of an easier match. Simsy gives attention to Snap when? I swear I've been sitting here giving her attention. She wouldn't have you believe that. But <laughs> I'm petting her as we speak. My hand is on the keyboard and on her. She's acting like she's so attention starved. Okay. Seems like not enough. <laughs> Yeah, she's having a really hard time. I'm just treating her so horribly. No, dogs don't drink water in the game, Ocean. You don't really need to have a water bowl in The Sims 4. I kind of like to put one, um, like I'll put two pet bowls down and one of them is obviously pretend. <laughs> but I usually put one just because to me, it makes more sense to have one, like it's weird not to. Um, but yeah, it's a strange, feature of the sims that they don't have water bowls hence why a lot of us put two bowls down even if you don't actually need it okay should i do like a couple little shelves in here the poor pets are dehydrated yeah i mean the sims is like actually depriving them they won't allow them water oh they do drink out of toilets in game though don't they I forgot about that. And puddles. Pee puddles. <laughs> Pee puddles <laughs> is what they will drink out of. <laughs> so that's upsetting. Um. I said pee puddles in air quotes. No, it's not, it's not pee puddles in air quotes. It's literally pee puddles. It's water puddles in air quotes. Silly me. Okay, that'll probably have to do, to be honest. I'm not all that worried about these downstairs bathrooms. Um, Lila, thank you for the bits. Claire, thank you for the 16 months. Thank you so much. I mean, I guess you're right though, because they don't have water in game. They're so dehydrated, they have to resort to drinking out of pee puddles. Wow. These poor Sims. How will they go on? <laughs> I don't like this bathroom. I guess it's just gonna have to do. Fake laundry hamper. Do you think having a laundry hamper in there is a bad idea? I don't know. I'm thinking like, cause it's, you know what we could do instead is get like, maybe I could do a like countertop or something. 
just to take up more space. We only really need to have the one sink. We don't need like double sinks in here, but it might not hurt to have a little bit more happening. I feel like double sinks in a bathroom this small is gonna make people mad. They usually get upset when I have double sinks, but it's nice in real life when you have like a shared bathroom. You know, if you have like uh, a bathroom that you and your sibling share or like the primary bathroom having two sinks because people can then, um, both use it at the same time. The problem with trying to do it with end pieces is that most of the time it clips, Christine. You see how it clips in there in the sink? You could maybe try to scoot it into the wall, but even then, I yeah, it doesn't really work. Um, maybe we could do like a tall plant or something and put and some towels on the counter, I don't know. Maybe they keep beach towels in there. I just wish that you could put them in the center. It's so, it's very frustrating that you get stuck with them like this because I want it to be in the middle of the room. <laughs> I think that it having just some clutter on this counter is totally fine though. I don't think that's really a bad thing. Okay, and there's enough clutter on that counter where your sims will not use this to try and cook. <laughs> Which is all that we really need to worry about. <laughs> I do not want them to try and cook in the bathroom. That is so annoying. All right, I'm gonna get some fancier ceiling lights in these. Let's do a slightly different vibe in this bathroom. I don't know if I wanna do like a green tile. We could try that, cause that does kind of match this a little bit more. Can't you set the sink type now so they don't do that? Well, you can set the sink type, but setting the sink type doesn't affect them uh, cooking on the counters. Setting the sink type just makes it so that they won't use that sink to wash dishes. Sometimes if there is an open counter, they will use it. Um, even if it's like far away. Not always. It's just they get kind of weird about it sometimes with the with the sink types. And the, or sorry, with the counters. I, what am I saying? <laughs> you said sink types. <laughs> and then I repeated it. That's not right. Okay. Yeah, it just changes where they wash up with the sink type changes. Which is still appreciated and still good. But doesn't solve all of our problems. I don't think that having a full size, I don't think that's a good idea. I think what we should do instead is use this same mirror twice. Mm. Maybe I'll just give them like two counters. Oh, you know what we could do is put the two counters like right there. And then we can have the shower next to it. They can have like a shower tub combo. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Maybe get one more light. Oh, it's very bright in here. Kind of scary. Unnecessary, but that seems good to me. Right? Maybe get rid of that one. It's just too much. Um, I was gonna say maybe there could be a door into the bathroom from here. This is really weird and you might hate this, but in real life, people often will have a pool bathroom where you can access it from the outside. But I don't know if that's a good idea because it's supposed to be the primary bathroom. So you probably don't want that, right? Like you don't want to have the pool people coming into your ensuite bathroom. But that happens in like fancy houses in real life all the time. Snappy, you gotta move so I can type mother load, okay? I can't get it. There we go. Mother, oh, I'm not typing in there. 
Mother load. All right. I'm out of money. <laughs> the other bathroom might fit that vibe better. Yeah, but it's on the wrong side of the house. This one belongs to the... It's This is the primary bathroom, but it's also close to the outside. But it's okay. We don't need to have it. Yeah, if it weren't the primary bathroom, I would probably do it. I just don't think that that's a good idea for this bathroom in particular, you know? Okay, let's get ourselves maybe like two bathrobes. And then maybe we could do a plant in the corner. If I split it and had a separate bathroom that was only accessed by the deck. You know, I kind of thought about that, Christine, but I don't think that it's worth it. Especially because, like, in The Sims, you don't really need that. Um, it's not, like, entirely necessary in-game, so I probably won't, but... You don't really even need an outdoor shower to, like, wash off in. You just don't really need any of that at all. <laughs> We're applying too much realism. It's fun to do that, but it's like, we don't need to let ourselves overthink it or worry too much. Because realistically, they can't even use it like that, you know? Okay, they're going to want to have a bath mat. I'm not super obsessed with this bathroom, but it's not the worst thing I've done. Okay. Okay. An outdoor shower is a cool concept, chat. It is a cool concept. Should this just be centered then? The fuzzy bath mat is probably also kind of impractical and maybe even a little gross, but... <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. Um, I think that could be good for the downstairs bathroom. Let's do the upstairs one. Maybe a laundry basket. Oh, I guess we could have done that. I could scoot this over. Hmm. We have the little base game fake laundry hamper. No, 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 you can't jump down. You can't jump down. I will put you down. Careful, thank you. Oh. <laughs> um, sorry, I just don't trust her. <laughs> She's gone back to her spot. My goodness. Um, let me put this in the middle of their little thingy. I think she would actually be fine. She's not as loopy right now as she was yesterday, but it still just makes me nervous. <laughs> so I would rather her not. All right, center that perfectly. Okay. That's good. There's a little bit more happening now. Snap, they can't even see you because of how you sat yourself down. You're not on the cat cam. This is a terrible angle. Okay, maybe we could try a different tile. I wonder if we could get one that, you know, like the one from Dine Out? That one, I don't know if it will look good Oh, probably not with that wallpaper. Does it look okay in there? I think so. I'm just trying to think about ways that we can get some different variations of tile. I have all the bathrooms be a little bit different. This bathroom upstairs, we should do something fun like this. I made her upset by not petting her enough, I think. So sorry, Snap. I'm horrible. Just absolutely evil, terrible. Um, probably not. That's probably too vibrant. Unless it's not too vibrant. That's maybe actually kind of cool. I think we can make that work. I think I like it. I'm gonna do the same double counter thing that we did downstairs. Cause I liked that too. Okay. 
It screams kids bathroom in a good way. Yeah, it has it has nice like vibrant kids bathroom energy While still being like pretty and fancy so it's good for what we're trying to do This bathroom is laid out a little bit nicer. I wonder if we could this is really tight. Okay So maybe I shouldn't be doing this but I'm wondering if we could try to make like a separate toilet like water closet thing That would be nice in a bathroom that's shared between siblings, because then, like, you know, if someone needs to use the bathroom or, like, start changing or getting ready, um, the others will be able to use the sink still to brush their teeth. Um, which is nice and helpful. <laughs> um, in real life, you're not a fan of it, but it's neat. Yeah, it's, it's, um, kind of tight, and I can see why people wouldn't like it, but it is nice in real life, um, it's nice to have that, like, separation, so. Um, okay, I'll give each of the two kids their own bathrobe, too. Maybe one yellow, one brighter, okay. And then, how about this thing? That thing, and then we can put some towels on the wall. Could do like a yellow towel. How about that? It might feel more open if the sink and toilet were flipped. Oh, we could flip them. Um, I don't really mind that much. I kind of liked it being a little closed off, but <laughs> I know some people don't like that. <laughs> this does, it does open it up more. So it's probably better this way. Um, paint, swap this, okay, that's probably for the best, fine, you're right, we shouldn't make it so tight in there, fine, <laughs> okay, grab these, can I downsize the robes so they're kid size? I guess we technically could, but there's something about them being big still that I think is fun, I don't know. We could do that. It helps tell a story. So maybe you're right. Okay. Lastly, I'm gonna wanna get... Maybe I will just steal those again. Put that straight in the middle. That one's kind of clipping, but I don't really care. Oh, there they are. I knew I had- I lost them somehow. I couldn't figure out where I put them. They were next to the door. <laughs> Thank you. I knew I had like moved them off, but I couldn't remember where to. Um, all right, so those are all the bathrooms done. Let's furnish the primary bedroom next. Um, cause that's probably a good starting point. Cause that means the whole downstairs will be finished, which I would like to have. Okay, so for this sim, I'm curious to look at some of the things from Island Living. There's one in the tub. There's a mirror in the tub? Or what? I got it already? Oh, maybe I read an old message and didn't realize. Okay, sorry. Um, island Living... Yeah, I was gonna say about the Island Living stuff, the wood colors are sometimes a little bit off from what I want. Like that one is so yellow toned. I don't know if that's really the vibes, but it might be okay. It might be okay. The light pink one maybe? I don't think I wanna do pink. You're gonna hate this, but it's, I think I'm gonna do blue in this room. I'm gonna get a nice colored rug too. Oh, maybe I'll put, you know what? Let's have the bed be in front of the, the windows. Cause that's so nice if you wake up in the morning and you can look out at the view of the water and stuff. What a huge room. Yeah, it's really big up here. <laughs> it is a very large bedroom. We're gonna have to try and make the most out of it somehow. Blue is justified for beach, exactly. We are justified in this today. Oh, she's sitting up. Okay, that's not perfectly in line with the windows, but... 
No, that rug's terrible. Don't do that one. Maybe, oh, this one has kind of pretty sunset energy. Oh, she's showing us her creepy scrunkly stitches. <laughs> Sorry about that chat. <laughs> Bald. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. I want to get some sort of nightstand. Normally, she doesn't turn to put her stitches to the to the camera, which is good because I think that probably most people don't want to see that. <laughs> Maybe you don't care. I, I don't really know, but I feel like it's best if she keeps it facing the opposite way for most people. Um, yeah, she's more alert today because she's not on as many meds right now yet, Jupiter. She's her, she's due for her meds again um, in like 45 minutes when I get off stream. So that would be why she's seeming more alert because <laughs> she hasn't had uh, as, mon as much of a medication dose as she did yesterday. <laughs> um, okay. I like that wall. I think that's nice. I think I might try to do white on the nightstands as well. And we'll get some pretty lights. Some sort of nice lamp. I always like to use the ones from Get to Work, but maybe these ones, oh, that's not really fancy enough, is it? Like not fancy in the right way, I guess, is a better way of putting it. I think she's judging me. <laughs> you think she's judging you all right now? She does have kind of a, like, a, a judgmental glare on her face a little bit at the moment, which is kind of rude of her, but I swear it's not about you. She just looks like that. It's like some serious side eye though. Sorry, chat. My cat's a bully. Okay, I wanna try this. I like the idea of having some more of those pillars in there and then maybe we could get like a full length mirror. I could take this and like raise it up a little bit, put it right in the middle of them. Okay, and we can do a couple of dressers. Can I use the slate dividers instead of the little jutting out wall? I guess we could do that. I'm worried about putting too much. We don't really even need to have the wall there. I just thought it might be a, a nice way to like separate the space, but if you don't like it, we don't have to use it. I was gonna look at this thing. I wanted to see about, maybe in gray. Okay. A clothing rack? I don't know. I don't love the colors on some of those clothing racks. So I'm not sure if I wanna have the clothes just out, but that is a possibility, it's an idea. So if they have all of that, we need something to go on this wall. That's why chat was talking about a divider to maybe like help separate the space, but I never know if I like this kind of thing. We have a lot of options, but I just feel like I don't know. I do think that having a slight wall there was good. I think I might have it be a full wall again though. Desk with computer. I don't, I think I won't put a desk in the bedroom. I think I'd rather have a desk be outside of the bedroom if we're gonna do that and put it like upstairs or something. We have like, it's not done yet. We haven't furnished the upstairs at all, but the upstairs space is gonna have kind of like rec room energy a little bit. So, I, I had this thought just then about a vanity table, but I'm not sure if the vanity is too big. With how we have these bookshelves, we can't really put it, but we could have it if we got rid of the bookshelves. And that might be nice. Can you even get through there? Oh, yeah, they can technically. I don't really use the vanity tables that often, so it could be a fun touch to add one. I'm wondering about like maybe another plant. 
right there, kinda. I guess we could just put it in the corner. Seems very rich person. <laughs> okay, good. The Modern Lux Kit has that actual purse. Is it called a bag? Yeah, that one, that one. That has rich person energy as well. We can get some makeup too. Can I swap the vanity with the closet? No, cause it's too close to the curtain. It won't be, it won't fit right. Um, okay, let's like be kind of subtle with how we place these things. Whatever that means. Um, I don't want to like overdo it with clutter, I guess. And that's scooted over a bit, so it's not the worst. Okay. Okay. Maybe I'll just leave that room. I don't want to overdo it. We do need to put something back here again. Maybe I will get another of the bookshelves, because I got rid of it. Uh, Fal, thank you for the raid. Welcome in. We're doing kind of a fun little build today. We're, we're trying to make a sort of modern beach house. Exterior is not completely done yet, but the downstairs is done. <laughs> We're moving upstairs now. I'm gonna try to think a little bit about this whole space. I wanna like think about this area as a whole, so. Um, maybe, I wanna get like stone up here. I just don't know what kind yet. I'm um, considering the Home Chef Hustle stuff. Cause that comes in like a, a light gray. I don't know if that's good. I don't think I want it to be white. It could be white, but I kind of want to bring in some more of the gray from the, the stuff over there. Oh, and you know what else we should do is paint the pool. I feel like I should, um, Maybe make it, we could like make the pool a, a nice pretty blue color and try to like really embrace it, <laughs> which is also fun. That also looks cool, so. Ooh. Tile bad. I don't know what to put in there. Oh, it could be like that. That's very bright and very pretty. I don't love the look of a ladder because in real life, this place would absolutely not have a pool ladder. You know, in real life, they would have like a, you know, staircase or something into the water, but we can't really do that in, in The Sims. So we have to make do with what we've got. I might use that one. Sparkly get together water. We can put that. The sparkly water is really fun, this one. It's fancy water now. <laughs> Snappy's just showing us her toes. Hi. I know. What, you want out? You can't leave yet. Give him like 30 more minutes, okay, Snap? <laughs> this is why I sometimes don't look at her when I'm streaming, because I say if I look over there, she's gonna chirp and then come, not laundry, lounge. She'll chirp and then come over here. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna go onto the the cat tree. I think she's gonna go cat tree and then onto desk. Yeah, here she comes. Okay, Snappy, again, you cannot, remember, you can't go underneath the monitor because you have a sunflower on your head, okay? So I have to get you myself. <sighs> no, don't go down, what? <gasps> she jumped, she was fine. My God. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to get her to not do that all day. She was okay. <laughs> She's not as loopy as she was yesterday, so it's not as much of an issue. Oh my god. I told her she has to wait until 7. I don't know why she's going over there again. We talked about this. <laughs> Let me out! Let me out! <laughs> Lila, thank you for the resub. <laughs> like, she can't leave. 
she has to be supervised. I'm sorry. I feel bad, but... <laughs> you can't. You can't. Okay. I think I like that. Maybe I won't put this in the pool. What should I put over here? How about a telescope? Potty break for Snappy. Oh, she has- don't worry, she has a, um, she does have a litter box in here. She has litter and water and food and stuff, so I- I haven't, like, evilly trapped her without access to things that she needs. <laughs> she might have you believe that she's been evilly trapped, but she does have all of her necessities in this room. <laughs> um, okay. Let's get... Maybe I'll put a little planter box or two in the corners. That's nice. She's very convincing, yeah. <laughs> um, I might purchase some... Oh, let's do like basil and stuff. We can plant a couple things like that. Basil, parsley, come here Stanley. That'll be like nice and functional, because you can cook with that. It is a modern beach house, yeah. What do you mean? Basil failed to germinate, don't be rude. Did you get it that time? No? You didn't get it that time. Is there a reason for that? Can you plant it in the ground? I don't think it's too close to the wall. It's not usually that silly, but maybe it is too close to the wall. Oh, it's kind of, oh, well, no, it's not. I was gonna say it's clipping, but it's not. <laughs> Weird. Okay, well, set gardening state, growth stage, blossoming. Yay, a couple of plants for you. How does the rooftop pool work? Oh, I mean, it's the pool, you can see it from in here, so it's kind of weird, but it's, you could put a pool anywhere, <laughs> basically. Um, so there's not any like fanciness to it, it just, it just kind of works, <laughs> I guess, which is not helpful, but. Um, oh, you know what I might try to do? What if we got like an outdoor kitchen over here, kind of next to this, we can get a bar. This is cool. I feel like this has potential. I don't really know what kind of bar to put. Some of these are a little too fancy for me. Maybe I'll use the ones from Perfect Patio. Because that comes in like plain white. Hmm. Am I finishing it today? I hope so. <laughs> I would very much like to finish this build today. Um, I think that we'll be able to. I may have to pick up the pace a little bit, but I would very much like to finish the build today. All right, should it go like all the way across? Probably. Fancy Airbnb vibes. Yeah, it kind of does have fancy Airbnb vibes. I can totally see that. Um, okay, so they have a, a huge fancy setup. Like right there with all of that, put that back. We'll get an outdoor dining table, probably with an umbrella. What is this build for, just for funsies? Yeah! <laughs> yeah, this build's just for fun. We don't have like a sim in mind. Um, we're just doing it for the vibes, basically. Oh. It's not gonna come in my same light blue that I want. That one comes in my pretty light blue color. If we wanted to be brave and use that instead. I don't know if I do. Um. It's not as like, Modern. Is Snap still mad at the door? Yeah. She's literally sitting, whoa. Oh, no she's not. She's right there. <laughs> no, Snap's not still mad at the door. 
<laughs> She's back. Oh, you're trying to scratch. Hold on, kitty. I can help you. Wait. I can fix it. Oh, no. Stay. I was just going to scratch your ear. Hold on. I was going to help you. Don't worry. Don't worry. I know. Oh, it's so hard. Everything is so bad. There you go. <laughs> is that better? Oh, you shook. Sorry. There you go. Do you feel better? Is this fixed? Okay. Oh no, I think it's a little too loose for him. There you go. Okay, we're back. <laughs> and she's gone. Now I've given her attention, who knows where she's gonna go. We'll see. She's back here, this way. Come here. Up. Okay. She just stands and puts her paws up on my chair because she knows that um, she can't really get up herself very easily. So she just kind of stands there and puts her paws up and she's like, up. Let me up. <laughs> and then I let her up. She can't really do it by herself though right now, unfortunately. Like a toddler, yeah. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Um, okay. I'm wondering about putting, like, a couple of nice chairs or, like, a fire pit or something. Uh, it doesn't have to be an actual fire pit. It could be the city living coffee table. Because this one looks like a fire pit. So we could always use that. Do you actually not come in white? Oh dear God. Okay, you come in gray at least. Well, we could put that there and then do some like outdoor sofas on either side. And that might be kind of the missing piece or something. I don't know. But that'll, that'll be on fire. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think about all that furnishing? Is it too much? Is it too little? I, I'm not sure. Okay. Some more bushes, just the right amount. Okay. Stanley's on the ground still. Yeah. <laughs> He's just hanging out down there. Don't mind him. I'm going to get some towels in the sand. I'm realizing that might be kind of nice. Um, that's a luxury beach towel. But we can put those kind of resting down here. And maybe I can put... Oh, we could get another one of these and then put a couple chairs on the beach. I don't really know what chairs. Maybe... I guess we could do these chairs. It's okay if they're like too fancy for what it is. Cause it's like a rich person's house, you know? So I think that having some nice chairs is probably a good touch cause they can sit out and look at the water. Should they have lounge chairs instead of towels? Maybe they have like one towel and then they have lounge chairs. Maybe that's better. We can get a couple of these and maybe I'll put like a drinks tray with them. Okay, that's probably all the main outdoor stuff out here at least. We have a couple more balconies still. We have the, the upstairs balconies off the bedrooms, but that's okay. We'll get those when we get to the bedrooms probably. That's nice. Right? Should I put more landscaping? Like, should there be plants right here? Or is that really overdoing it? See, that's really what I'm not 100% sure of. I like don't know at what point I should stop. Snappy, I gotta just see a little bit more. I can't see my game, okay? What happened to that thing he had? Nothing? Okay. Um, 
maybe two more of those little island living bushes. No more plants, maybe? Okay, I don't know. Let me let me look at how this looks really quickly and we can see. I think that it was like kind of empty. So maybe it's good to have a little bit more just tucked away right there ever so slightly. And we can get the thingy up with it. No, maybe over a bit more. Is that a hot dog suit? Yeah, that's Stanley. He's not, it's not really a hot dog suit so much as it is, he is literally a hot dog man. Like, he kind of is a hot dog. Um, I know it sounds weird, but you get used to it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm sorry, chat. I'm, <laughs> I'm like fully lost it at this point. <laughs> He's a hot dog man. That's all. Okay. I like that. And I think the extra plants does actually look pretty good. I'm gonna do the terrain paint completely last, but we have three more bedrooms to furnish. Oh no. Okay, that's clipping. Just put it back down. Two bedrooms and a big open hallway, I guess I should say. <laughs> Not three more bedrooms. Snappy, I can't see. Um. I kind of want to like, dare I say, I kind of want to close this part off. Hear me out. I'm going to make this into like a separate office nook. So I want to close it off a little bit just so that they have like more privacy in their office space. Um, Kaylin, Elsa, thank you for the subs. Thank you so much. Um, four bedroom. I don't think I want to close it off completely. I just want to put like a little bit of separation in there. I think that like the tiniest bit of extra separation is enough. Um, just so we can have like some sort of separated office space like this. Um, and then we could add maybe from eco lifestyle, maybe this rug would be good in like that color. That kind of fits. Okay. Um, let's steal maybe like this plant. Uh oh. Snappy, I can't alt place because you're blocking the, the keyboard again. Maybe something like that and then a bookshelf behind it. Um, I think that would probably be enough. Oh, we should use the mosquito stuff bookshelf. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry to use another pack, but like, that is kind of good. Right? And that helps to split up the area a little bit more. I was thinking about then trying to turn this into like a secondary living room. Not super sure if that's the best plan, but that was my plan. <laughs> Um, I don't know if there should be a TV or if it should just be open, like, I haven't really thought that part through. All I know is I was thinking extra living space, maybe a game room. Yeah, we thought about that too, but then I wasn't sure if it was weird. Um, cause the, the gaming stuff is kind of small, so at least with this, it takes up more of the space. I don't really like this rug. Where'd Snap go? She's on my desk. <laughs> She's just sitting here on my desk with me. She didn't really go anywhere. She's still hanging out. She is right here. <laughs> um, like a pool table. You know what is so weird? We don't actually have a pool table in this game. So we can't really do that because it doesn't exist. <laughs> um, we have as a po like we don't really have a pool table so much. We have foosball and like ping pong. But Sappy, you're you're pressing on the keyboard too much. Um, but that's it. We don't really have pool. I don't think that that's because of it, Mystic, because they had um 
back in the older Sims games, we've had pool tables. I don't really know if there's like a specific reason that we don't have them yet, or if they just haven't gotten to it yet. Um, I'm not really sure, but yeah, we don't have them yet, so. <laughs> Snap is not about this build today. No, she wants me to, to get off stream and go downstairs with her, so. <laughs> I guess I can't say I blame her. Um, <sighs> I don't know. I liked the idea of this, because then they could, like, look out the windows, but... I don't know. Let me see about getting the... I'll show you. The foosball table, I don't really want to use. And I'm not putting ping pong up here. But the foosball table looks like that. Ping pong's like this. They're just too... They're too big, I think. Unfortunately. I think we should keep it like this. I think that it would be cool to have a nice couch that's in the middle that looks outside. I think it's good. We just have to commit to it <laughs> and stop sitting here trying to decide over and over again what's best. Do you think that that rug is okay? I almost think that it actually is good for this. Right? Oh, you know what we could maybe put? We could have an extra TV up here. If we got this thing. And that might be nice. Okay, should the rug be centered then or no? I'm not sure. What about a game console for that TV? Yeah, that would be really cool. Snappy, you gotta scoot over. I can't, I can't use my keyboard. A game console is a good idea for this. Um, maybe scoot over just a bit more. That's like making it more off center, but. I don't know. Even if we don't actually have it, I don't think it would be a bad thing. If there was just like artwork here, and, and just a, a couch that looked outside. We don't need to have a TV everywhere. Like, the space is very nice. <laughs> and the view from the space is also very nice. So it's it's all right, I think. Um, maybe a frame TV? Oh, we could maybe do that one. I think the problem with this is that the swatches aren't exactly what I'm going for. You see, like, it'd probably have to be that one. And I don't know if I want to do that or not. Maybe we could get a tall... Let me add to another bookshelf, maybe. Maybe this bookshelf could go over here instead. And we could do a skinnier one in that space. And then we could just do, like, some poofs, like some Ottoman-type things in this corner. I think the city living ones are good for that, because they're kind of small. But those are nice, because you can kind of drag them around. An aquarium! You know what? Maybe that's what we decide to put here, in the office space. <laughs> or I guess we could switch it back up. We could put this over here again, and we could do fish here. That is really quite fancy. I think I might try and use that one. Do you want to get scooted back just a bit more? Wow. What an item. <laughs> I think it's cool. I actually think it's cool. The dine out one is pretty cool too, if you wanted to use that one instead. I don't know what's best. This one, the other one's from Spa Day. Both fun. This is prettier? Okay, we can use the dine-out one then. It is kinda screaming the Sims are extremely rich, which was the vibes that we were going for. So, <laughs> I guess that's for the best. Um, and then I wanna get maybe one of these paintings again. They're both really quite big, both of those items. Um, and then... How about the tiny living? 
I always use this on these sorts of tables, but it's just nice. It's just nice. We don't have any clutter on this desk. <laughs> so we probably want to get some of that too. That would also be good. So maybe like, the aquariums still work if they're sized down. Unfortunately not, no. You can't size down things that are like animated in that way. So to give another example, like a fireplace, if you size down the fireplace, the fire is gonna stay in the same spot. So when you size down the fireplace, the flames will be like kind of broken because um, they'll they'll still be like there and the fireplace is smaller. So if you tried to size down this fish tank, the like all of this coral stuff stays because it like flows and then the fish would like be swimming out side of it. <laughs> um, so you can't really do that, unfortunately. It's kind of sad. Um, okay, two kids rooms. And then we're, we're basically done, aside from terrain paint. So let's figure this out. I think that this smaller one should be an actual kid's room. And then we can do like a teen's room in the other bedroom maybe. I think so. We're gonna play Stardew tomorrow, friend. Um, don't worry. <laughs> we'll play Stardew tomorrow, I promise. Oh, maybe I'll try and get one of the debug beds. Hold on. my. I gotta like lift the keyboard up so I can get it. BB dot snap your BB dot show hidden <laughs> object. <laughs> okay, <laughs> hopefully that one worked. I wanna use an eco lifestyle debug item. Did I type it wrong? Oh, tell me I didn't type it wrong. Oh no. Snappy, I really cannot access this at all. Maybe I can't use it. <laughs> Maybe we can't have a debug bed. <laughs> She's like completely off. I can't get to my keyboard. I give up. I actually give up. I'm sorry, chat. I have failed you today, but no debug for us, I guess. <laughs> she has spoken and she decided no. <laughs> You were forced to switch from Origin to the EA app? Oh no. I know a lot of people are upset about that, but oh god, I want bb.ignore gameplay unlocks entitlement. That wasn't that bad. Um, I think I got that one too. I want to use this rug. That one is one of my favorites. Okay, I think I will put the bed here and i think i might let it be like yellow you know what i'm gonna try again bb dot show hidden objects yes i got it right that time so these are the beds that i'm talking about from eco lifestyles debug it's worth it because it's kind of cute yeah i hate that this rug is locked it's very frustrating that the rug is locked behind stuff because this is one of the better rugs in the game i think one of my favorite ones. And it's usually locked. You can't get to it. All right. So I think that I'm going to give this child a little desk space. Um, Simsy, do you still support higher student loans? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, everybody, I heard that Lil Simsy is in favor of increasing the price of student loans. <laughs> The joke, by the way, is that I've said that about The Sims before. Um. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> it's come back to bite me. <laughs> People remembered. <laughs> Cancel her. She's terrible. <laughs> um, maybe... Oh, how about this little light? I like that one. I like the polka dots, too. That's cute. Or maybe... No, the clouds. Oh my gosh, use that version. Okay, and this bedroom is absolutely enormous. So they'll be able to have probably a dresser over here. No, the rug's not base game. This The rug in here is from Dream Home Decorator. This build, unfortunately, uses a very large number of packs. <laughs> um, it kind of has what some might even describe as an excessive number of packs 
inside of this building. Um, and for that, I am so sorry. <laughs> I, it's a lot, but, but the vibes, you know? I never use that thing. I'm kind of interested in trying to use that little item. I might also put the orange cat. I don't know. Okay, base game. I wanted to steal. I use these pictures a lot in kids' rooms. I just think they're so cute. Like, especially those two colors. It kind of matches the room a little bit. I don't know. I'll put that on this end. How about that? And then maybe here we could get like, how about a science table? Oh, I never use those. This kid is gonna be smart. Okay. And then maybe in the corner, I don't know, I can't really move the door over. It's kind of stuck where it is, so. Void critter gaming thing. Oh, that's kind of a fun idea too. I think what makes me nervous about the void critter thing is that um, it would be in the middle of the room and then like, is there enough space to get around it and still use the, the furniture in here? I'm not sure. Science table can catch fire. Yeah, it sure can. It sure can. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Could it go on the balcony? No, boring, 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 boring. The balcony, unfortunately, is gonna have to be like, I think a little bit more on the formal side because it's what you can see from the front yard. Oh, what are you gonna do? No, 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 no. If you want down, I put you down. Don't yell at me. I don't want you to fall, so. <laughs> anyway, I think we're gonna try and make the balcony a little bit more. Uh, this one's gonna have to be kind of fancy because it's what you can see from the front of the house. And I'm sorry. So sorry to this child, but they're gonna have to deal with it. Oh, we have cat cam again. She's finishing up her shift. <laughs> Before I end the stream, she's like, fine, I'll go back for a little bit longer. Fine. <laughs> oh, she wants to scratch it. It's okay, I'm getting off stream in a minute, so I'll help her. I'm sorry, I can't, I shouldn't laugh. Was she just trying to chase it to get back there? <laughs> I should not laugh at you, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I feel so bad. Oh, she can't groom at all. I'm so sorry, Worm. She's like licking the flower. <laughs> I feel like a monster. <sighs> I have been giving her some supervised like cone off time the past couple of days uh, so that she can nap with it off and also like groom herself in places that are not dangerous. Um, so she has been able to do that a little bit. So don't don't worry too much. Um, she just wants to do it right now. And I am in fact live and unable to help her. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll put a chess table down here for this one. I kind of like the idea of that. I put chess tables in a lot of my builds and spaces like this. I think it's just nice to have yeah, we know the flower works. I mean, we, we can tell that she cannot get to it when she's got the flower on, so. I guess that's good. Um, yeah, they shaved a lot, Ripley. She has a very large bald spot and a, the incision is like that big. Um, oh, I feel so bad for her. She can't scratch her ear. Kitty, if you come here, I'll scratch her ear for you. Oh my god, I'll help her in a second. I'm gonna finish the build and then we'll we'll leave stream. Don't worry. What's going on with the bathroom door? Oh, they disappear into the wall when you have move objects on a lot. Um, it kind of just does that. 
it's one of those things you unfortunately have to just get used to um, and like fix before you put it on the gallery. Okay. So in this like teenager's bedroom, I'm thinking I will use this bed. And then I guess they can have that same nightstand their sibling had. I might give this sim their own little desk setup too, because I quite like them having the desk set up. I think it's kind of fun. What time is it where I am? It's about 7.04 in the evening where I am. And I usually get off stream around this time. I'll be live for a second longer though, because I, I want to finish the build. We're almost done. But I want to finish the build uh, before I head out today. So you cannot get rid of me yet. I'm going to use this kind of fun wallpaper, I think. Face just out of you. Yeah, she doesn't want to be on camera anymore. She said I've had enough of this. <laughs> You've used enough of me today, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, maybe they can have a fancy computer in this room. That's a fun idea. We could do that. Um, how about that plain white, I guess, still? I wanna get them the like fancy ultra wide cool monitor. That one. I like that one. And then maybe we could do on a couple of these walls, we could have like some extra color. Oh, we could do it on all of them. It's only a teen's room. They should be allowed. Okay, maybe dresser on this little section. Where's my sub badge? I can see it messy, don't worry. It might just like not be loading properly. Sometimes Twitch does that where like the first time you type it like doesn't show your badges right and people get nervous, but I can see your sub badge so you should be good to go. I think you're all right. Okay, this desk is not really looking very light in color. Maybe I'll make that more gray on purpose. <laughs> Rude, I know. Snap is, she's doing a lot better today, Messi. I think, and I mean, I would hope that this is the case, but uh, I think today has been the, the best day so far for Snap um, post-surgery, which again, you would hope considering it's, you know, the furthest post-op. <laughs> so you would hope it's been the best day, but I think she's been doing a lot better today. So that's good. I was extremely worried about her on Tuesday or sorry, on Wednesday, because um, it seemed like even with the pain meds, she was in a lot of pain. And so I was just feeling very distraught and worried about her and like, it was hard. It was a hard day, but um, I think today has been a lot better. So I literally like called the vet and asked them to prescribe some extra medication for her because I felt like it wasn't enough. <laughs> so we've, she's been through it, but um, hopefully it's just all up from here because Today was definitely better, so. Oh, the kittens are, are not messing with her at all. Um, they've been really good. People ask about that a lot. They're like, have the kittens been bothering her? But no, the kittens, they, they do not even remotely bother her when she's got this thing on her head. I mean, she's kind of, uh, and it sounds like it's a joke, but I'm serious. She's really established some tight boundaries with the cats. <laughs> um, they, they know like what is too far, so. They don't really bother her anyway, um, for the most part, so. Okay, this, it's clipping in the other room, but you can't really tell that it is, so do you think it's okay? Because it's mostly hidden. They can tell that something is, is wrong with Snap, like they know that like, you know, something has happened because, you know, she looks ridiculous and um, she's got this cone on her head and she's clearly out of it, but they're not like messing with her. So that's good. Mom, his rug is on my side! <laughs> the kids are fighting because this kid's trying to have their rug clipped in the other kid's room. I can see it. And I'm gonna make them keep it that way, I think. <laughs> Do I think I'll always call them the kittens even when they're full grown? Yeah, I think so. I think they'll always be the kittens in my mind. I, don't, I can't imagine a world where, where I don't call them that. So. <laughs> 
Okay, so on this, I'm gonna put a yoga mat, I think. Flip flop wall lights. Oh, I hadn't really considered that. We could maybe do some of that. Flip flops. It doesn't really fit. Maybe the little child can have the flip flop wall lights. Cause those, they match a little bit better in that kid's room. Yeah, it's like how your grandparents still call you a kid even when you're full grown. Yeah, it's it's basically the same concept, except it's kittens. And they're just, I don't know, I can't imagine ever seeing them as being not kittens, you know? So I think they always will be. <laughs> Sorry to the cats, but... <laughs> I like that yoga mat, I think that's kind of cute. Maybe we get an easel too. You call your four-year-old toddler the baby? Yeah, that makes sense. I bet even when that kid is older, you're gonna be calling them the baby still. <laughs> I call them I call them the babies. I call them the kids sometimes as well, um, but mostly I I call them uh, the babies and the kittens. So you call your cat Miss Baby. She is twelve. <laughs> you see, you get it. It's the same thing. I yeah. I, I don't think you'll ever stop doing that. Um, okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of like darker sand underneath some of this. I waited until the very last second to do the terrain paint clearly because I was worried about the game deleting it on me, but I'll get a little bit of darker sand so we can try to like shade it, I guess, a bit. And then I need to get a trash can for the outside. And then I think it's done. I think it's everything. I should probably also save again. <laughs> Where should I put this? Maybe like tucked away in that little corner so it's easy access. I feel like this build turned out really well. We have a thermostat, don't worry. I got a thermostat, we got a trash can inside, we have a mailbox, um, we've got all the things. So we should be okay, I think. I might lastly put, where? I wanna steal some sort of plant, but I'm just thinking some kind of plant that we can put right there next to this thing. Where did I put the thermostat? I put it over here, the thermostat's right there. What about ceiling fans? I wasn't really planning on giving them ceiling fans, to be honest. I don't know. I feel like the ceiling fan thing is not really my vibe for this house. Maybe I should give them one, but I don't really want them to have one. I think it turned out really pretty though. I'm so bad at modern builds, so I feel quite proud of myself with this. The volcano in the background? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Okay, what do we want to call this house? Um, it's it's three bedrooms, three bathrooms. It's a modern beach house to be placed on key point in Sulani. Um, ignore the volcano in the background. <laughs> okay, um, I don't know what to oh I don't know what to call it. I'll give you a tour before I leave, don't worry. Don't worry. I'll show you around in a second. Um, island, island, I don't know. Pompeii chic. <laughs> Maybe modern island villa. That's a good one, Winter. I like the word villa. I think that's nice. No, luxury, luxury island villa. <laughs> okay, <laughs> luxury island villa. That's nice, that's nice. All right, that'll sell it, okay. <laughs> I'll put it on the gallery now. <laughs> and then I will show you around in case you haven't seen the whole thing. Um, so this is, she's in the litter box if you hear scratching. <laughs> this is what it looks like from the outside. Uh, it's got some kind of cool like 
I don't want to say split leveling, but it's got a second floor pool because on these beachfront lots, you can't put pools in the ground. It won't let you. Um, so we kind of worked around that by putting a pool up here. So you can see it from the first floor, but um, you've got pool access up there, which is kind of interesting. Um, so they have like a raised pool around there. I think she's gonna go yell at the door again. <laughs> around the back, we have some lounge chairs. We have like a drink tray there. We have like a little sitting area. Um, on the back porch, we do have a dining table, some little uh, like seats by a fireplace. This is a coffee table technically. It's from City Living. Um, it, the game thinks it's like a candle, but it kind of has like flames that you can see in there when you're in live mode. So that's kind of a nice touch because it looks like a fire pit. It doesn't work like a fire pit, but it looks like a fire pit. Um, and then this over here is like the bar and grill space. I know, Snappy. I'm getting off stream in a minute, okay? We can go downstairs, don't worry. <laughs> um, around the front, when you first walk up, we have a little mailbox. We've got the front door. I know, I know, I know. Um, <laughs> when you first come in, there's a little uh, like entryway table. <laughs> this poor cat. Um, where we have like a fancy kind of wave shaped mirror and, and some place to put your keys. They do have a formal dining room here with a nice view of the outside. There's a piano and like a lounge chair. The dog eats in the dining room too. They have a downstairs bathroom with just a toilet and a sink. I know, I know. And then on this side, <laughs> this is the living room. <laughs> oh, it's kind of clipping a little, but ignore it. Um, they have like a fancy TV table. Uh, I love this living room color scheme. The dog has a bed underneath the stairs. And then we have the kitchen back in this corner as well. Um, and then also down here, we have a little hallway to the primary bedroom. They have a lovely view of the outside from their bedroom. And they also have an ensuite bathroom. It's kind of big. So they've got a lot of stuff in there. Vanity table, stuff like that. And all the way upstairs, you kind of have like a big bonus room space. I made like a little office nook off the staircase, like a work from home sort of corner. I know, I know. It's terrible. Well, we're almost done, okay? She's looking at me like, she's like, what is wrong with you? I've been asking. <laughs> um, and then <laughs> in here, this is the living room upstairs. It's not got a TV. It's just like a place to sit and look outside. There is a fish tank and stuff. Um, here's how you access the pool deck. So they have the pool and like some lounge chairs up here. And then there's one hall bathroom upstairs. They have a, a nice water closet for the toilet too. And then there's two kids bedrooms. They both have balconies. One's for like a younger kid, they have toys and stuff. And then this one's for like a teenager. Um, what are we doing? Anyway, and that's the fully finished build. <laughs> so hopefully, you oh no! Oh my God, the wallpaper. I should have done the tour first and then put it on the gallery. There's always something, but that is the finished product. I think it turned out cool. It's different than my usual builds and I'm proud of myself for that. <laughs> Um, so hopefully you like it. Um, and I think on that note, I'm probably going to end the stream here. Clearly the cat wants me to. So, <laughs> um, I'm going to go bring her downstairs and feed her her dinner and, and stuff. Um, but thank you for hanging out. I do have kind of a weird stream schedule for tomorrow. So I'll tell you now, um, normally I stream at this time at like four o'clock Eastern time until seven o'clock Eastern time ish. Tomorrow we're gonna be live a little bit earlier starting at noon Eastern time, um, which is like four hours early because I have an event that I'm attending tomorrow. <laughs> um, Able Gamers is a charity that we fundraise for a lot on Twitch. I know, I know. Um, and <laughs> Able Gamers is having a virtual gala tomorrow. And, and anybody can come, you have to buy a ticket because it's a fundraiser, but um, basically it's like Zoom meets Stardew Valley, but they've built out like a whole event space for it to the point where like they have a bar and they've hired bartenders to come and they're gonna be like there doing drink making tutorials like at the bar. So you can walk up and talk to them and like get a tutorial. They have a caricature artist who you can literally go up to and get a caricature from at the event, but it's like completely virtual. They have a games room with like retro games in there. Like the whole thing is really cool. Um, obviously it's a fundraiser. So they have like some videos that they'll play and they have like DJ sets. They have multiple DJs who are gonna do sets tomorrow night at the at the event. It's really interesting. It's a fun idea for a fundraiser. Um, did it last year, it was their first one last year. Today's their, or tomorrow's their second one. So I'm gonna be there tomorrow um, from four-ish onwards. So I won't be live at this time, but if you want to come, 
Again, you do have to buy a ticket because it's a charity fundraiser, but I will link some more info of that uh, in the chat in case you want to, because um, it's it's pretty cool. And it's a fun thing to help support because if, if it goes well, it's kind of like a proof of concept for the future to get more sponsors and stuff for it, which then in turn benefits the charity. So <laughs> um, it's just a, it's a big win. And it's cool to have like a party, you know, to have a virtual party um, that like anybody can attend despite like accessibility concerns and stuff. It's just really nice because it's open for everyone. So anyway, that's my spiel. I'll be there tomorrow, but I'll be live before that. So <laughs> that's the plan. Um, and I think I'm going to go and raid somebody, maybe somebody who is playing some Sims, potentially. Um, how about this? My friend Kipsy is doing some building, it looks like. So I might go over there and say hi to Kipsy, if that's okay with you all. Um, and I'll catch you tomorrow. We'll, we'll uh, play some Stardew and then and then go to the gala. Yeah, going to the gala tomorrow. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna be like on the... <laughs> I'll be walking around at the gala with like my mic on and then my cat's gonna like scream. <laughs> and then these strangers will be like, what was that? <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> anyway, have a great night. I'm going to leave now and I will catch you all later. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Love you. Miss you. All right. Bye everybody. Bye. <laughs> and